Hey, hey, we're back. It is episode 12. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we have for, first big announcement as part of the introduction, actually, is that uh, Britannica the YouTube channel has changed its name. We are now known as 3D6 Down the Line, baby. You can see it right down there in the corner. Um, so I uh, hope everyone likes the new logo and the new rebranding. Uh, we certainly do. So uh, once again, welcome. We are playing through uh, Gavin Norman's Dolmenwood setting. Uh, right now we are in the middle of Winter's Daughter and uh, at the near the climax of that of that module so uh real quick introduction my name is john i am uh your host i'm the referee going around the horn once again we have mike playing alfred Berthistle, the magic user david playing snell the hunter matt playing halifax swinney the knight and ted playing argus Dreger with constitution of five thank you ted <laughs> always appreciate it <laughs> Never gets old. Really, I never just, gets I old. I just gotta own it, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so we have a full house today, which is excellent. Uh, it's been a long time since we actually had the full group, so it's a, a appropriate session to have everyone here. So that's great. Um, so last time we joined our intrepid adventurers, um, they had made their way uh, Alfric first via the Fisher in the midst of the family crypt, um, and then followed sub subsequently by Halifax and Argus, and we shall say Snell as well. Uh, via the steps down uh, to the warded pool uh, through the floating candles uh, and found their way into the icy, cold, malevolent fairy realm of Phrygia, um, where they found themselves uh, in a cold fur, uh, fur forest draped with the, uh, the mossy corpses of uh, previous victims and found in the middle of a glade a white, glistening frost tower where you are have learned that a wedding feast is uh, in preparation it has been an on, an ongoing preparation for some time um, for com countless eons as far as you know although they don't seem to, to have noticed the passage of time for the wedding of princess snowfall at dusk uh, the fairy princess who uh, is betrothed to sir chide the mortal knight when you have his bronze ring um, and you have been entrusted with it by the ghost of Sir Chide to deliver it unto his his uh, his love, Snowfall Dusk, who you believe resides at the top of this tower. When you went into the entranceway, you were greeted by uh, Grimmelgridge and Grittlegrim, the, the wonder duo of Goblin and Troll, who said that you couldn't get up there without an invitation. You guys went and delivered food into the kitchen, um, and then he said that one way I could let you go up is if you take some mushrooms. And you did. And there was sweet rejoicing. <laughs> As the stat that Alfred wanted to raise up actually did through sheer randomness. Uh, Argus got his decks up. Not the one he was probably hoping for, but you can't say no to a, to a stat boost. Uh, and Halifax. <laughs> Halifax I got currently. The, the true gift. I got right. the real one, baby. You got the, the one that everyone really envies. <laughs> Long locks. Let me tell you, I... I envy that personally. Uh, so I yeah, that easy, right? You'd have had that mushroom a while ago. Hell yeah. Uh, so I, I just got the mushroom that makes me even more insufferable. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Exactly. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we are in the midst of this. Um, uh, you're in the midst of this entrance chamber, right? Uh, yes. Griddle Grim and well, Grimmel Gridge, right there. They. 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 they, they Offered uh, you passage to go up the stairs. Um, you have delivered the, co the the food to the cooks. Um, the goblin messenger Licorice has has withdrawn back to his sleigh and is going to head back off into the forest. Right. So this place is decorated with garlands. Um, there's tons of boots and coats, which um, Alfred already took some of those. Uh, and uh, we will just simply meta in, meta it and say that Snell is there as well. Snell. You don't have an invitation, would you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, you, can the stairs, buddy. Mm -hmm. you can meta that if you want, but we literally haven't seen this guy in like weeks. So, like, who is? He? <laughs> yeah. What is he doing what here? What is he doing here? Definitely not invited. <laughs> um. Yeah. Right, so, uh, I gotta. I I can't remember their names now because they're so so Riddle. very. Griddle. Griddle Grim? I have to get the, grid, the grid yeah. there, right. Griddle Grim is the goblin, right? So he lowers right. down on Grimmelgridge once again, and he's like, well, mm, Mr. Hunter, I can see that you are one for uh, foraging, are you? Well, no need to do that here. I've got a bag full for you. <laughs> I, I I reach in immediately and say, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem at all. 
<laughs> no money for you. Hobbit. He loves his mushrooms. Well, wow, listen. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, Snell, you may roll a d12 for me, please. All right. <laughs> Mike's oh, so yeah. excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> if you get a seven, I'm going to scream and throw my uh, mouse. Are oh, you yeah, rolling it? Think... You're rolling it in a real. I got okay. a three. Oh yes. Do you want me to roll it in now? No, no, no. That's totally fine. Got a three. Three. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you take a mushroom and mm, it doesn't taste too good. And he's like, well, mm. what do you think? Do you feel anything different? Mm. You don't feel anything different at all. But the rest of you certainly notice something different. Oh, as you, no. you see his, <laughs> his skin darkening a, 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 a shade, like mo- going through multiple different shades of color and then finally resting on a deep purple hue. Your entire skin is is bright purple. Well, deep deep purple, I should say. We'll call it deep purple because that's a that's a cool name. I'm, uh, I'm a Smurf, you know. <laughs> yeah. Not blue, not blue. It's important. That's true. That's true. Deep deep purple. All and right. Grim- Grimmelgrin is like Grimmelgrin just sort of pokes you. He's like, oh, 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 oh. and Grimmelgrin's like, yeah, that's a wonderful. That's one of the good ones. <laughs> That'll get you far in life, my friend, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's uh, all the better to have my mood match my appearance, you know. Indeed. Well, the guests will certainly delight in, well, two of yours appearances, that is. Brush the hair out of your face there, Master Swinney. You have guests to entertain. <laughs> now, uh, uh, I, I do have a question. So is it just the top hair or do we also have long beard? Long how's, how's the pit? How's the pit hair? Pit hair no. Yeah. Well, we, I, I, I don't think it's going to be the entire body. It's going to be the head. <laughs> so, um, I'll let you decide Mark, if you'd yeah. rather have like your also a long beard as well. But it's certainly certainly your your hair on top of your head is like way beard, down. Man. Yeah. Does it come with a wind machine so I can get that? Uh, kind of uh, yeah, absolutely. You need, you need to brush Fabio. your beard over your shoulder like Fabio, that. Yeah. <laughs> but I guys want you to understand that this is next level. It is not a matter of... It, the description doesn't say grows abnormally long. It gives a precise length. It's 10 feet long. So that means it's like... <laughs> It's like a train, right? It's seriously like a wedding a wedding dress train like uh, behind you. you know? so, oh, yeah, uh, he has no clue what to do. With it. He's just going to take that and kind of just like wrap it around him a couple of times like a <laughs> there you, go. you don't want to like man bun that like all the way up like Marge Simpson. Because right. <laughs> like, he doesn't have a scrunchie. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's going to keep that shit up there. It's amazing. Uh, Halifax, uh, what color is your hair? Uh, it's like it's like a sandy, sandy, sandy okay. brown, like a light. Like, should, should we at least attempt to cut it? Uh, Why, hell no, man! I like this stuff. This looks fat. I, I, I mean, Grimmauld Gridge probably has a point about uh, going up to be with the fairies uh, and not looking like a boring human. Yeah, it looked really uh, cool, man. You're just jealous. Uh, we're Is there a another. Bit- does he have another mushroom for my friend here? He's jealous of my, uh, my beautiful locks. <laughs> One mushroom per guest. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, kind sir, <laughs> for the for the fine mushroom and for your generosity in uh, seeing to it that we can attend the wedding. Off you go then. Have Thank fun. You for... Oh, I I'm sure we will. Don't drink too much. All right. Oh. So uh, up up the stairs you go. Uh, and as you enter into the next level of the tower, uh, you find yourself in the midst of a grand feast, which takes up the entire floor of the tower. There's one more, uh, staircase that goes up on the North side, but there is a grand staircase. Uh, there's a grand hearth on the Eastern side, once again, crackling with those electric blue flames, right? But, um, the, the, it is dominated by a huge feasting table with multiple chairs all around there are now here though so you see that it is um the table is like just absolutely bonkers with stuff it's got uh roast swan uh that is stuffed with blackbird it's got mountains of fruit with dripping syrup um ice wine chilling in buckets um there are, are uh, there's liquor here that's like a dark purplish uh liquor that perfectly matches snell new snell's new uh mean um that's in crystal decanters and there are 
a number of different guests here, and all of them are regal-looking frost elves, right? There are, first of all, there are what appear to be five frost elf knights who are proud, unsmiling, uh, wearing exquisite frost-rind plate mail with lances at their sides that are basically dotted um, at intervals around uh, around the edges of the uh, the inner tower. Um, and then there are also what appear to be uh, seven frost elf nobles, which some of them are sitting at the table, some of them are paired off and kind of wandering around, all extremely decadent looking, wearing uh, extremely like foppish sort of dangerous liaison sort of uh, 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 couture. Um, they've got like, you know, the, the handkerchiefs and the, the silk lace coming roughs out of their, their, uh, their coats and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and, but they're all relatively subdued. They're just sort of quietly sipping their wine. Um, but they are cold and alien creatures, right? They are very much the other. They're, they're not something of this, uh, you know, not something of your world. That is for sure. And there is, um, despite the roaring blue fire, um, and the the evident warmth in there, there is a definite um, coldness to the atmosphere here. Uh, uh, things that love you not, basically, as you enter. Um, but they 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 kind of turn around. You know, one frost elf lady with a sharp pointed nose. You know, she sort of looks over from her. You know, her underneath her towering wig, pulls down her little mask. You know, she's got a little decanter, and she goes, "Oh my." Well, it looks like we have some uninvited guests up here. And they all kind of turn towards you and their noses sort of rise up. You can see the crystalline boogers up the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Argus uh, will do his uh, best to do a proper courtly bow. Uh, he probably won't do it as well as Halifax, but, um, he, you know, he will do his, the whole genuflecting kind of, Hat off, twirling, sort of, you know. Say, the dirty one has manners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, now we're all dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and this Halifax is... definitely knows this this kind of deal. So his, his like, look like you belong. Bow and be proper, but not nope. too deep. And look at this one's tresses; they go on for miles down the staircase. <laughs> there it goes. Why look? This is uh, this is like a a, a, a male uh, elf, you know. And he, but he speaks to speaks to his companion, who's a woman, and he says, "Ah, well, Willow's slow freezing. What do you make of that?" She says, "I don't know." Well, and what do we have here? Look at the complexion of this man's skin. Why? Never seen anything <laughs> do, quite I like it. I do bow at the recognition of me. <laughs> One. The one over there, the quiet one, the one simply smirking at me. I don't like the way he's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just try to look like a forbidding wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one fancies himself a master of the arcane. <laughs> oh, delightful. Well, come, enter, please. Enjoy yourself. Sample our provender. <laughs> they they kind of just stare at you like unblinkingly as you sort of move into the room. You know, they're just sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, Argus does wants nothing to do with eating or drinking in the end of fairy, and is just going to stand against the wall with his spear, kind of, uh, not mocking but copying the uh, the the knights with their lances. The elf guards sort of like like turn their yeah. heads towards you, like really, and just sort of narrow their eyes at you, you know, a little bit. They're I'll just bu nod. They're bushy, what? like uh, snow rhymed white eyebrows, you know, waggling at you. You know, then there's like a one one guest actually, uh, one of the women uh, is suddenly like right there in front of your face. She goes, "A Dudel, Mister Dragon. Yeah. Would you be uh, perhaps we we've been talking actually, and we've noticed that uh, per perhaps you aren't from this realm. Uh, is that the case? You are, quite, you are quite right, my good lady." I am indeed not so blessed as to be of the land of Fae. Would that mean that you are? And then, like a a, a man actually steps up and is like right on the other side. Mortal, uh, distressingly so, sir. Ah. <laughs> you rarely meet someone more mortal than I. 
he, he waves like a tiny little like quail leg like in the air just sort of you know like doing this it has been so long so very long since we've been able to set foot in that blessed realm how we so greatly desire to be back there would you so uh, I... happen to know the way and then as he says that like all 12 of the heads basically all turn towards you in anticipation uh i am a, a terrible at directions sir <laughs> typical new yorker bro <laughs> <laughs> exactly. ah such a pity perhaps one of your companions <laughs> your you, where did you where did you find your way into phrygia the gates to the mortal realm have been locked for so long by those cursed, cursed droon. My uh, lords, my ladies, unfortunately, we don't know how we arrived here. One moment we were walking through the woods of the dolmen and tripped and fell into a <laughs> ring of mushrooms. And when we awoke, we were nearly frozen with the frost and found our way here to this tower. Ah, how delightful. What a delightful tale. Mm -hmm. Ah, somehow I do not think it likely that it was an accident. Although you may think it so, for this is a far-flung corner of Phrygia, unknown to m even most of the inhabitants. For well, here the cold prince keeps his young child, imprisoned internally up above. Indeed. And we it's, feast for all time. Not? What's that, Argus? We, well, I, we were given to understand that it was her wedding today. It is indeed. Every day is her wedding, and we feast eternally. Uh, Perhaps you uh, have brought her a gift. Yes, it is, after all, her wedding day. Indeed. Indeed, we have. In fact, I come bearing a gift for her that uh, may, in fact, end your uh, perennial, your, your eternal wait this glorious wedding. Who say? Well, it is a gift from the mortal realm? That may be between myself <laughs> and the lady, the princess Snowfall at dusk. I have to run to the door real quick. Sure. Right back. sure, sure. All right. Don't be coy, Master Swinney. <laughs> what is this gift? Show us what you have for the lady. Must be a mighty oh, really, gift. really, really, really. It's it's nothing. All of you should just go about your business with the with the feast. I'm sure the lady herself would love to tell you mm. what I have to bring to her. They're all a bunch of them are all like, ah, oh, a mystery. How wonderful. Something to liven up the festivities. Well, this is quite nice. Well, we are not going to stop you, of course, if you'd like to see Princess Snowfall at dusk and deliver your gift. Oh, it is all well. We look forward to seeing you on your return. And we would be remiss if we didn't provide escort back to, from whence you came. A, a generous, generous but unnecessary offer. Oh, Thank we wouldn't dream of it. Danger abounds in the forest. Such fragile creatures such as you, such fragile, beautiful creatures such as you, we would not... See any harm done to you? We'll grant yeah. you safe passage. In the meantime, full bellies. Yes, enjoy. Eat, drink, be merry. I am. Uh, I am quite, quite full. Thank you. I, uh, I, I, I just had a lovely appetizer. It really just filled me right up. It was a little, a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this is the blooming onion. It was just <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's way up here, you know. <laughs> The gorge, it rose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gluten free. I don't do the gluten. It, it does look good. <laughs> no, uh, uh, they, they, they look so slightly disappointed that you that you don't want to partake. But in that case, since you're not willing, you're being reticent in your speech and reticent in your desire to to party hard with the frost elves. Um, they 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 wave you away to go up the stairs. Before I go, I, I I pull my hair up off the stairs and I kind of loop it around my arm like a garden hose. <laughs> nice, right? Like do it around like this. 
<laughs> like, well, you feel like a like a waiter's, you know, the like the cloth that the waiter walks around with, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just That's loops all. and loops and loops of hair. It goes on forever. Right on. Okay. So we're going to go up to the third level then. You're going to go up to the third level? Okay. All right. Is it, I mean, they're kind of ushed. They're ushering you up there. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't want to, if you don't want to party hard with the frost elves. And I don't, I don't want to dilly dally either, man. I, I feel my, I feel my, my, my mission is at hand. Okay. All right. I mean, Goal is near. All right. You... We, have, we have already established, right, John, that like the stories that the, the players know about fairy and elves, and that kind of thing in the old stories of the elves are more or less what our characters have also heard, right? We have good reason to be cautious about elves and fairies and things here. Yes. As, as you know, any of the, you know, um, you know, the whole history about how the, I mean, not to, to you, they were legends and fairy tales about the fact that the cold prince was banished about 800 years ago. Right. 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 You didn't know the circumstances of that. You since learned that it was, um, what was something called the triple compact, right? Where it was, a, it was a, an alliance between the, um, the nobles under the Duke, the church right. under the archbishop. And this is, this is the, the big sort of secret that everyone's forgotten is the third one was the third sect was the Droon. The Droon. Yeah. So the, the, the three of them actually united, put aside their differences and united and fought a war against, uh, against the cold prince's dominion and banished him. Now the terms of that banishment, what that all meant and all that sort of stuff, that's all very nebulous and you can't really find anything about that. Um, but, uh, for whatever reason, um, uh, he was the culprits was banished back to Phrygia. The internal winter was lifted off of Dolmen Wood, and life went basically back to normal. Um, and right. fr frost elves have not been seen since. Right. right. So, so uh, these are. I, I, I mean, I you guys are steeped in D and D lore, sort of thing. So it's like it's less of an impact on you as players whenever you first see frost elves. But to your characters, it would yeah. have, have been absolutely mind blowing. Like it was just like these are like walking nightmares, basically. Yeah, I'm imagining this is a terrifying experience. We like, we've been raised to expect them to be violent and and you know powerful masters and. Well, it's not you're not surprised that they are that they're genteel. It's more that you're just surprised that they exist that you that you're that you are actually like you're constantly sort of pinching yourself like I can't believe I'm in Phrygia, and I can't also believe that I'm also uh, witnessing I'm actually talking to and, and seeing frost elves in the flesh that they actually do exist and they want to come back. And take over and kill yeah. us all. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. the part John, I'm concerned. Yeah. Like John, one, one more. I have yeah. another question about um, Saint Chide's uh, or Sir Chide's sword. Yeah. I'm. I have his sword in my scabbard. Mm -hmm. um, do any of them recognize it, or is it like glowing blue, like in the presence of orcs? It isn't, but you do have it in the scabbard. You are not wielding it. That's true. Right. So Hold the. It uh, out. Pull it out, man. <laughs> what, what, what could happen? See what, see what happens, <laughs> man. Brandish arms. Oh, speaking of, uh, uh, Ted, did you end up uh, taking the spear or the hammer from? Um, I took the um, the took mace. The spear and the mace. Told me that you wanted the spear. Is that okay? If if you want the spear, that's fine. I didn't mean to trample on toes. So, I mean, there mechanically, it's not relevant. You okay. know. Uh, I'd perfectly fine having my trusty spear and a big fancy new mace. Okay. So cool. if you have a particular hankering for that spear, then I see no reason to to so that, uh, like something I can keep the distance. Care much about it. it. Yeah. Uh, All right. Cool. You should note that the spear. Actually... Go ahead. Uh, I just have to go tuck in a kid. I'll be right back. Sure. The spear, um, David, is uh, has a serrated uh, serrated edge. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very distinctive. It's very distinctive. All right. Is it a uh, is it a uh, like polearm size or is it a spear that I can hold with a shield and, and poke with? Uh, no, it's a, it's you can it's small enough. It's not a it's not like Perfect. a great spear. You can you can chuck it too. You can throw it. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. All right, that's the kind of spear I have. Yeah, yeah I just yeah. wanted to note that real quick on my sheet before we yeah. So <laughs> yeah, you, so you can you can throw it, but also don't forget it also has um, brace, right? So if you um, yeah. if you set it to a receive a charge um, or someone who's going into melee with you, you'll do double damage. Which is pretty sweet. Okay, so you make your way up to the third tower as they sort of glare. They sort of just sort of watch you go up. Yes. Since the banquet is there, um, I'm wondering if while they're engaged with Master Swinney or with um, Argus, if I can surreptitiously grab like a couple of apples or something else off the table 
and put them in a sack. Uh, yeah, you certainly can. Yep. Okay. Yep, you can certainly do that. Uh, Thank you. Maybe some fruit from the fay will be worth something down the road. <laughs> absolutely. Smart. All right, so you're going to make your way up. Um, we're going to actually take a quick break right here because I, it is very important that Halifax Swinney is here for the very next thing that happens. Uh, so so <laughs> just give us one moment and we'll be right back. Okie doke, and we're back. All right, so we're making our way up the staircase um, and you enter into another uh, chamber here that is the entire circumference of the tower as well, dominated on the western side by a large... Um, canopy bed that is veiled but the veil itself is actually made out of like snow dust it's beautiful it just sort of like lingers in the air um, and uh, but it is draped over the top over the poles with uh, white wolf skins there is a dressing table across from that on the far wall that has jewelry boxes on top the jewelry boxes are, are uh, not closed and the reason they're not closed is because there's so much jewelry pouring out of it they can't close um, there, there is a wardrobe against one wall that is uh, closed for now, and there's also another fireplace with uh, electric blue flames. Um, but standing in the midst of the room, whirling around as she sees you come up, is Princess Snowfall at dusk, the living embodiment of uh, the so many uh, rep uh, representations that you guys have seen in the past couple. Well, actually, maybe just one day. <laughs> but uh, to, to uh, Halifax Swinney uh, has been haunting his dreams uh, for so long now. Uh, completely ageless, definitely otherworldly. The what you realize when you see her, her blonde hair, which is like the, it's like platinum. It's more like um, like Daenerys Targaryen, right? It's like a you know. A, they call it like the color of the winter sun, basically. A very, very pale skin, which is uh, scintillating, like fresh snow. Crystalline blue eyes, um, clad in white, and she has a uh, a silver, a delicate silver cord around her brow, where this um, there's a jewel in the center, which is the flashing thing that uh, the flashing jewel that you always saw represented. But what you notice when you see her finally in the flesh is that none of the statues. Or even the visions that you've seen, Halifax, have done her beauty uh, uh, justice. Um, it is as if it is as if the artist could never really capture what exactly her essence was all about. And um, when you finally see her, it's not it, it, her beauty is so uh, intense that it doesn't. It, it's almost off-putting. She is so alien in her beauty that it um, that it's. Um, not, not repulsive, but it's just not at all what you were expecting. You would kind of set up in your mind like what she was going to look like and she was going to be just a beautiful creature, but it's something other, something other entirely. Um, very regal, though. And uh, she kind of whirls around and turns towards you and you see her eyes soften as she sees you and she says, Well, there's a beautiful sort of tinkling voice. Welcome, my friends. And to what do I owe the pleasure of such as you here in my humble prison? I, I, my, my lady, it, it is, it is I, the, the, the one that you, that you called out to, the one that you, that you saved and, and to whom you gave your quest. And she, she, she's very tall, taller than any of you. And she, she, <laughs> she bends down a little bit. She's probably, she's like, uh, she's probably like six foot two, six foot three, maybe. And she, uh, she looks down at you. And peers into your eyes and she says, is, is that you, my love? I think I see, I see it. Chide, is that you? <laughs> oh, oh, my little heart just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Halifax is the largest. She, 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 she whips out like her long, thin fingers and she grasps your hand, you know, and it's icy cold, like the cold of death. You know, and she, and she, but she holds it. She holds her hand in between yours. And she, my love, tell me you brought it. Show it to me. Oh, I, I, I am not. <laughs> Hold I, up. <laughs> I am not shy, but I, I have brought what you asked. He holds up, he holds up his rings. Just, yeah, show there. just as you, as you asked. You've done it. After all these years, you've you've come to me, my love. Give it to me. I mean, me. it hasn't hasn't been years, but 
Give it to me, if, if, and if, we if will be together is... forever. Finally. <laughs> can we just get played for suckers, man? I think we're oh, in trouble. We so, we, we so no, did. We never had the conversation <laughs> about whether or not we should do this or not. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, you're not going to stay down there and talk it out. I love it. Okay. so Hallie's, Hallie's like, what? Give it to me. Uh, this, 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 this. This is what you have tasked me to bring. This is what you wish. You know this, my love. It's, Why it's do you pretend you like. otherwise? Why are you hesitating? Give it to me so we can be together. Finally be married. After all this time. 800 long years. Around the mortal sun. I, I, look, at the, I look at the precious. <laughs> Why do you hesitate? She holds out she holds out her, her hand, you know. Oh. I have I have promised to do this and I will do this, even if your love truly belongs to that of another. I'll put it in his hand. Put it in her hand. Put it on her hand? Okay. You gotta put it in her finger, bro. Come on, okay, 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 okay. I'll slide yeah. on her finger if she, <laughs> she's, if she's all right. She, she, she's everything coming out of her is just love. Like whenever, whenever you slide on the finger, she smiles beatifically and um, she accepts the ring and uh, all of you guys all witness as something basically steps out of Halifax, right? It looks like an exact duplicate of him and then morphs slowly into what you recognize as the form of Sir Chide, right? But there's a brief instant where that sort of morphing effect, it's like you could have sworn that there was a little bit of a resemblance there after all that time between the two men separated over eight centuries. But then it quickly disappears as you see that it is not the ghost of Sir Chai, but actually what appears to be what appears to be him in the flesh, but still in that very aged form. Princess Snowfall at dusk, eternally youthful, doesn't seem to see that at all. Um, and she she takes a step back as she realizes that there is indeed a different person here right that there's this halifax and then there's also her love and but uh she quickly sees her her loves her child and they embrace and he you know it's it's a beautiful thing they kiss and it's just very romantic and it's uh that they're they're reunited after all now when they when they finally embrace and they look at each other in the eyes and you're kind of stepping back and kind of paying respects to it you feel the world around you sort of shift a little bit, like a very metaphysical sort of, as if something that was um, uh, kept very close together is now shifting apart because these two have been reunited. You can kind of just kind of feel that in your in your very being. Um, but they, they turn towards you and uh, Sir Chide, who is now not as bent backed as he once was, um, stands with his arm under, uh, with her arm underneath his, and uh, he says, "You have done us a great favor, one that we cannot repay." And she, she agrees, and she says, "There is very little that I, I can offer." And she gestures over to her, her dressing table where there's all these jewels. She's like, "Anything I have here is yours." Of course, it is so little compared to what you have done for us. And now it is true that we can never leave this chamber, but we are together forever, she says. It, it I, could help mend my broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> I can offer I'll go you... Behind, uh, I'll go behind Halifax and kind of, you know, pat him on the back, man. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you home. We'll get you drunk in prig ward. You'll... <laughs> I, I go run her. my fingers through his hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, so Princess um, Snowfall does. She kind of comes up to you, Halifax, and she's smiling at all of you, of course. But she she comes up to Halifax, and she actually uh, cups your chin in her hand, like raises it up a little bit, and she brushes picks you up by your neck. <laughs> brushes your hair out of your face a little bit, and she says, uh, she looks uh, pityingly at you, and she says, "I fear that fate has used you." Uh, fate, fate has not used you in a good way and there is one one last thing I might be able to do for you in particular Master Swinney I have the power 
granted the last thing that the, my father was gave to me before he imprisoned me away, and that is the ability to grant a single wish. <laughs> Con one, what? please. Wish for Con one. Oh. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires. Are, are your wedding guests, my lady, are going to allow us to leave? Why, of course they'll allow you to leave. Are they going to follow us? If they so choose. Oh, Were you accosted oh. by my guests? Were they in any way rude? Uh, not rude oh. so much, my lady, but um, very interested in the ways back to the Dolman Wood and to the mortal realm. Ah. We have some concerns that they may have designs on returning there. It is forever in my father's mind to return to the dominion that he once held in the mortal realm. You mm. must not allow him to do this. Mm. But if there is any way, and she looks back at Sir Chide, who looks sadly down, um, that perhaps you might find, if you are able to find this doorway that would allow the passing between Phrygia and the mortal realm, if you could let one frost elf through, that would be very appreciated. Which one? Why, me, of course. Oh. With my husband. So that we live freely in the mortal realm, instead of being cooped up here. That would I mean, be, that would be most preferable. <laughs> so I, I don't wish to sound um, overly morbid, Sir Chide, but uh, I mean, in the mortal realm, aren't you dead? Don't you kind of have to be here? It is. That is quite, that is very much the case, Master Dragger. But I do not know what the future may hold. It is right. quite possible that we have may have broken through the, uh, the, the binds, bindings, bindings of time. And that we may actually live a full life in Dolmenwood. Of course, it very well be that maybe we shall find our eternal rest upon returning to the mortal realm. Either way, we will be together forever. I am content, and I am happy. So, would you excuse us a moment? I think we need to have a... <laughs> 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 We, we just need a minute to talk, I think. Of, uh, of course. And they, they stare deeply into each other's eyes, for yeah, which you have you. a feeling could be all eternity. And they'd be yeah, com right. completely cool with that. So I'm, I'm cool with filling up this convenient large sack. With these jewels, Put some jewelry in it. Totally down. They seem down with it. Okay. It seems very right. cool. Well, those in favor. Great. All right. Do we want to offer them, like... We escort them back to the gate we just used. Uh, wizard says no. Speak, oh, wizard. Here's my, my concerns, and I'll just put them out there, okay? So number one, I'm concerned that some of the wedding guests will insist upon an escort or just trail us back to the, to the thing. We don't know if it, we don't even know if that works. Like, we don't even know if we go back, if we can right. get through. We're kind of hoping that, right? But if yeah. they see us go through the portal, they might then be able to go through, figure out a way to go through the portal too. In which case, we're going to be responsible for a lot of con checks for you as winter descends on Dolmenwood forever. You're <laughs> never going to be able to go out to it Just ever again. Unending con checks. Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> I, I love how you've, you've, you've somehow made... Uh, like my health connected to the health of the whole dolman. Wood. That's fantastic, you know. Well, where you go, like so that. go with the dolman wood. Is kind of <laughs> right. I'm like a carrier <laughs> coal miner. True. Well, yeah. And then the other thing is, I guess my concern about letting her come back would only be: is there then some sort of like sympathetic connection between the Prince of Frost or whatever? What's his name? <laughs> Sorry. <Nicole. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And his daughter. Like, is he got her low jacked in some way, shape, or form where having her on one side of the portal and having him on the other side of the portal allows him to, like, either cross over or, like, whatever. Also, what's she going to do? Go stay in, like, the, the Prigward Holiday Inn? Like, 
She's a frost elf. She's six foot two, ice maiden of like death magic. And you're going to let her back in. I don't know, man. I think we I, use the wish and just be like, we wish to be back home with all of this stuff. We could do that. Mean, yes. Could, yes. Could we, could we wish for that um, and a duplicate of the ring bring to your Anadetti? Bring to the what and the who? I missed that part. Uh, uh, Drew, Masama like, Drew. She's hoping no. for a. Uh, Right, uh, so that that way he can get his thing too. Wish for a duplicate of the ring, and you want to eat your cake on the way, way home. You yeah, know, I don't know about. I think you're. I think yeah, that well, maybe, but I think you're pushing it. Yeah, it, I mean, wish I mean, not to, he's going to do some the, magic, uh, magic stuff on it. He's going to be like fraud, fake, <laughs> power word, pig, and you're going to be a pig. Uh, for the rest uh, of your life. I mean, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't mean to be too uh, Aladdin here, but is wishing for the genie to be free something we could do? Could we wish for both of them to? If we wish for them to come back with us, have a regular I mean, that, life and and be sort of stripped away from the gaze of her father and be able I to like that. Is that impossible? But it's it's an interesting. It's an interesting what thing. what if we tell her that we'll use her wish to make her mortal? Yeah. So I don't know. It's a thought, right? Well, like, here, is, is that is that? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, I guess my question concerning your your, your low jack idea, Mike, um, is. I guess we don't really know enough exactly about how the elves were banished back to Phrygia. Like, right. is it, for, for example, because we know that the Dru, uh, the Drune were involved, and there is what's clearly still a pretty potent ring outside the tomb of Sir Chide, where we just traveled as a gate. So my guess is that the elves cannot easily come back, although there is that crack in the floor that you went through, which could very well be the the weak link, if you will. Right. Yeah, we're still in the, in the, through. Yeah, there's a that's the back door in the tech, or you know, however you want to look at it. But um, my guess is that the average elf here at this party cannot simply just walk back to Dolan with with us. But you don't know. I know I don't. And if is it a risk I'm, that you want to take? You know. Aside from that, I mean, we haven't talked about if we do. Either let her back, you know, show her the way back, bring her back with us, or wish her back. However, right. dad's going to be pissed. Dad had her locked in here. It, forget like him just knowing where he went and wanting her back. He's going to be pissed. This could restart the whole thing. Maybe we should yeah. ask some questions. Yeah. Well, that's, that's like, my part of my wish. I mean, this presumes that the power of her wish exceeds her ability to do this to herself, which is a weird, you know, metaphysical quandary there right. but right. the reason i said like for her to be mortal all right like for her to be stripped away from her it's it's, it's like a wish for her freedom from her father right like that's right. the idea not just physically but like you know disappearing <laughs> from the the sauron's eye of her yeah. of, of her father right i don't know if that's a possibility oh. but it is the best gift that we could give the two of them and certainly and possibly to the people that own one right the um, other thing that i just want us to think about too is that the Drune, who are still really present and really powerful in the Dolmenwood, spent a lot of time and resources to keep them on this side of Ferry, right? Sure. Yeah. We export Ice Princess 2000 back to Dolmenwood. <laughs> <laughs> they might be a little uh, upset. They might be a little upset. For all we know, those owls that were lining the tomb are specifically there to make sure that no ice elves come creeping back through. Would they, they know, know it? Would they know it, it's her if she's turned into a mortal, though? She's, if uh, she's turned into a mortal, I, I would be okay with that. But if we just, like, walk her back through the door and be like, have a good day, I think we're going to have a lot of enemies. <laughs> I mean, I we're going to have a lot of enemies. So oh, only, only like, the, the Frost Prince guy and the drone. Mm. I mean, only those two guys. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, do we know uh, – how do I want to phrase this? We've never seen a drone. We've only got Mosselmile Druge's a word for that that they are still a potent force. That do that Dolmenwood ring there, um, you know, was pretty old. The owls were all rusty. They may not actually be uh as troublesome as you're imagining. It may not be legend. You know? How troublesome really do you have to be to kick our asses though? 
Fair. 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 Yeah, it's not a relative. A really a strong gust of wind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. candlestick <laughs> gave you a concussion. <laughs> baby, a baby critted on me. <laughs> also, you're literally like while we're standing in a in a tower full of like mythical evil creatures, you're questioning whether or not the mythical human, whatever they are back home, are real or not. I'm not He's questioning like, it. I'm merely pointing out that we are making assumptions for which we have no data. And to be fair to to Argus, it's prob this whole scenario you you probably might think is actually like a result of your concussion. <laughs> 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 you are still concussed and you have a minus two to AC and saves. <laughs> you guys are actually see all these elves? This yeah. is <laughs> like That's dancing around. <laughs> I mean, we, we are not sure that the uh, mushrooms did not lead us into a, a vision of sorts. True, like, who's to so say? to be the Nag Lord, Argus. You want to just... Uh... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's real. Yeah. That right. guy's real. Let's see if we can get some more data here. We want to ask... To, I turn back to the loving couple. I make a deep bow. Mm -hmm. And I say, my lady, we've been talking amongst ourselves. We have some questions. Well, ask away. Number one... And we're hoping that you will be able to elucidate us on the implications that would be prevalent if we were to fulfill your request to take you back to the mortal realm. If we take you back to the mortal realm, will that give your father a foothold back in Dolmetwood? I, I can't believe that you would be so selfless as to actually discuss using that rare gift for me. That is truly touching. As far as I know, I don't think that... Well, it. I guess it would depend on how you word it. Mmm, see. Would you, would you be willing and would you be able with that wish to become a mortal and journey back with us into the, the mortal realm? So again, I am not... I, I, I have no control over it. Is it it's all dependent yeah. upon how you word it. Okay, well, there you go. That's all the answer. But that sounds before. wonderful to me. If you were asking whether or not I would willingly become mortal, should you wish, literally wish that for me, then she looks back at Sir Chai. Of course I would. And and if we did that, would that, I mean, would that make it easier for you to get back to the mortal realm, and would that protect you from your father? Hey, it is my bloodline, my my connection to my father which allows him to keep me here. Should that be severed, I see no reason why I can't simply return with you. Huh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> why is the hunter pointing at his know. head? <laughs> head wound, my lady. We've all received <laughs> grievous head wound. I see yeah, his yeah, scar. Yeah, I my I poor child. Scar across my that face. scar. <laughs> My lady, our, our, our line of thinking has come from years of abuse in other games. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish to, perhaps you would wish to remove this unsightly scar from your friend's face? Absolutely no. not. I think there well, are more, it won't really there are more or, important or the, things. Or the purple hue of his skin. So strange. That's, oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Yeah. I like it, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know what I think you should do, boys. Brings out the yellow I, I feel strongly yeah. about it. Or this okay. th this man's sickly nature. I could give yeah, him on a scale of three to eighteen. It. I could give him an eighteen. <laughs> an eighteen con. <laughs> Just say the I word. Think, I think. Uh, I think gonna we go cry wish. a little bit. I mean, I, can ha I don't want to like how specific we can be, or we, you know, like we Dude, select, or, you know. But I think we should wish for her to be. Let me tell you. Okay. Wish. You need to be as specific as fucking boss. Well, I'll so, tell you. I'm not going to. I'm not I'll, making the wish when I say this, but I think we should. Sorry, yeah. John. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll give you the parameters as far as like me being a DM will go for it. I'm not going to be that super hard ass like like looking for ways to fuck you over with the wish. Sure. Um, you you have to be specific. Don't be too general. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you you don't want to give me a lot of leeway to to uh turn things on you. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look for ways to do that, but just you know, um I, I if I can get the general purpose of what you're wishing for and then if you word it carefully then you'll get what you want. Okay. You know? Yeah. Can I'm we, really better at making wishes. Is the scope of the wish powerful enough to do make her mortal and get us all out of fairy 
or is that pushing the limit of what the magic would do? Uh, it's probably pushing the limit. I'm not going to give you too many hints, but you you have a wish, right? You know, so there's there's no wishing for, for more wishes, so forget about that. No, yeah, no. yeah. I think I think yeah. we wish for her to be mortal and free with her lover of her father's gaze, right? Essentially, so yeah. we're, we're specifying that her freedom, as we know through the bloodline, is 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 bought through her mortality. Uh, uh, I think Do we wait to make the wish until we're back at the portal? Ooh, because maybe. it's going to be it's going to be really, really embarrassing if we do it here in the tower and then all those ice elves are like, we can't let you leave with our lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, we might need to, we might well, need to stage a little bit. But here's the thing. She's, she, she's perpetually under Soran's eye as she can't leave. She, she well, can't here, leave. Well, yeah. well, I can just, she, she, you can only, she will grant you the wish, which means that you have to ask her the, you know, in her presence. You know what I mean? This isn't like a. Well, no, I know. I, I was talking about having her come with us to the portal. Yeah, but it, it seems like she's oh. wish right. Oh. As right oh. as she's yeah. the portal. she's yeah. locked in this tower as it is now, though. Yes. She, Let's she just can't. do it and see how it runs. Yeah. Whoa! No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It Wing sounds, it. <laughs> it sounds lovely to me. I think it's the right thing to do. I okay, think wait, that, if there's anything, anything else, heroic that four mooks like this, us will ever achieve in our lifetimes, it's this moment. Because it's going to be death from here on out. <laughs> we need to go this get... is our moment. <laughs> this is a big moment for you guys. Yeah. Yes. We need to go get some treasure. Yeah. Oh, before yeah, okay, we do okay, it? Okay, yeah. Sure, sure, of course. But we'll do, of course. Of course, but we're we're not getting out of this through her wish. We're freeing her, and then we can go get the treasure, right? Like it's not we're the not teleporting now. Room. You're literally yeah. feet feet away from the treasure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we need right to get the here. treasure first because you don't know what's going to happen after you make that wish. Yeah. Okay, so let, yeah, let's. Okay, move. sure. So, Bag yeah. the goodies. She's offered him the treasure to us already. Can Please, we say, yeah. help yourself. I have no use. Your lady, would maybe maybe take the treasure before asking her wish. Absolutely, yeah. these baubles are of little value to me, but I'm sure they could go so far with you. Asking okay, this like, I'm like yeah. shoveling yeah. off a table yeah. into a bag. You so know? this is what this is what you have. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> All right. You there are uh, thirty ice jewels. Right. Each of these, each of them, thirty, each each worth two hundred gold. Yeah. There are twelve necklaces of fairy silver. Beautiful beautifully wrought things. Each of those, all 12 of them, worth 150 gold each. And oh. then, yeah, the pièce de résistance is a brooch, a platinum brooch with a sapphire the size of like the tip of your thumb. Uh. A sapphire right in the middle of the brooch. Um, and it is uh, wrought in a way that it looks like spiky hoarfrost, like the brooch all the way around, worth 1,000 gold. All right. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. In addition, should you wish, or if you have the means to do so, I don't really know how you would, but I'll let you know that inside the wardrobe, there are um, 20 fur coats made out of like winter wolf skin and also 20 scintillating gowns, beautiful gown, um, uh, that are each worth 100 gold each. Well, I think we should wear a fur coat out for the cold. Yes, or and a gown, baby. Yes. Put it on the gown. Exactly. Put it on the coat. Yeah, that's exact, I'm, I'm already, you know, one one arm in, you know, and here comes the other. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Hey, if, pay no attention to the, to our, our dress up show. We're, yes, yes, yes. You guys would look no, insane. We'll walking out of this place. There's like a purple scarred guy in a women's gown. You know, I feel and the long haired freak. Amazing. <laughs> the hippiest of hippies. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I definitely, definitely, definitely think the fur coats are a great idea. We should each take a fur coat. I love that. So I mean, are they, like, are they really obviously like ladies coats? Or are they just sort of big, you know, fur? No, things? they're 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 uh, non gendered coats, non gendered coats. I love it. Uh, bad. Four so four <laughs> coats. And are you? Is anyone actually putting on one of the very obviously feminine gowns? Oh, I am. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Did the color match my eyes? Because otherwise, I'm just. I'm not nope. Right. I, mean, how, <laughs> how, I, I have the gown on for sure. Are these like big hoop skirts? Can we can we roll them up? No, they're uh, they're very slim. In fact, they probably if they wasn't if they weren't so well made, you would probably burst the seams. 
I mean, can, can we roll them up and, and put them oh, in the Oh, bag? can you roll them up? Um, yeah. What do you What do you have for containers? Uh, I have... Uh, Currently, I have two large sacks, but yeah. I'm just... You could do it. You could put it in those if you don't have too much else in them. Yeah, I also have two large empty sacks. Okay. Yeah, so you can get all, all uh, 20 of the gowns in there. So I'll give you the 20 gowns. Um, but the fur coats, I think that those, unless you're carrying one in your hand, can't be carried in... Uh, I'm putting the putting the coat on over my gowns. Just put it on, yeah. All right, so I'm going to say four four fur coats and 20 gowns then, okay? You can wear one too. It's chilly outside. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask her, I'm going to be like, are you able to leave the tower? What happens when you leave the tower? I cannot. I am bound to this glade. I can step no the further. Being the frozen lake. Yes. Okay. But if I care not. Decide, if you decide to go for a walk, do they provide you with an escort? Do you have to be, um, no. does somebody go with you? No, I am magically bound here by my father. So you can command all the courtiers and all the guards to just leave us alone and let us leave the tower. Of course, but I, there's no reason that I would need to command them. Okay, they are okay. my friends, my wedding guests. They will not. Well, guys, you. we take her to the edge of the glade. We wish her mortal. We leave. What do you think? We have to be present with Hi. her. Oh yeah, yeah, she can go to the edge of the glade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay, take yeah, her yeah, to yeah, the yeah. edge of the glade. We wish her mortal. We run. Okay, let's do it. And then we get chased down by you know death hounds and die. <laughs> if, 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 if. All right. Sure. I think that's a you're hedging hedging a safe sort of approach to it. Uh, okay. I, I like for. it. I like it. Uh let's offer that. Let's say would you would you come to the on a walk through the glade with us, dear lady, so that we may give you the wish under the crystalline sky. Really doing this. Is this. True, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's the only the only honorable thing to do. Sir Chide was uh, was I an have... honorable man and gave us shelter in his tomb. And so we think it's only fair to reunite you if possible. This is still sleep. a truly selfless act. And you will be remembered in the annals of history for what you are about to do. Um, and uh, they both look at you with, uh, with true respect. Like they really did not expect you to, uh, to use the wish for this. So um, they say, of course, let us be off then. And then you can see that they're actually... Instead of sort of uh, being resigned to their fate, but also happy that they've been reunited, now there's actually like some a little bit of excitement. You know, like they're they're kind of psyched. <laughs> they're like, let's do this. Right? Yeah, yeah. They don't they don't ask us to leave the room for like twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give us just a second. <laughs> As an aside, we should specify that Chai will be alive in this mortal contract. <laughs> they, they will both be living mortals together. Yeah, I, I think I, th I think I think I I mean who so knows, they, but I, I think I got some words. All right, okay, so you got the words. All right, so you got yourself laden yeah. down with treasure. You've got the fur coats on, and you escort them down the stairs um, to yeah. the feast. Now, when you do, um, there is a uh, as they kind of step down into into the midst of their of their peers, um, there is a general a general like golf clap of cheer that kind of goes up, like ah, oh, the bride and groom. You know, it's sort of like it, it, this is a natural. It's not like, oh, it's, oh my God, it's been 800 years. It's party. You know, it's very much like, oh, it's the natural consequence of two people getting married. You know, it's like, ah, oh, the bride and groom. Well, congratulations to you both. Thought we felt something different in the air, as it were. Hmm. Well, so shall we be off back to the mortal realm? I'm sure you two have a lot of catching up to do. Some consummation, perhaps. Back up to the bedchamber you go. And they're both like looking at each other like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got news for you but they, they leave it up to you to pave the way um they have agreed to just uh com accompany us on a, a brief walk around the uh around the tower as a as a mean of means of uh saying thank you for our uh, uh delivery service not delightful well we of course shall join you a little parade around the grounds as it were <laughs> ah let us be no, off no <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Uh, friends, friends, <laughs> countrymen, it is. <laughs> Please do not, uh, do not, uh, uh, stir yourselves. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, do not stir yourselves. Exactly. Uh, uh, enjoy the festivities. It has been so long in the in the making. Uh, we shall be but a moment. 
he says. Sir Chide is like very quiet. He knows, you know, I'm just a mortal. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they kind of look at each other like, very well. And they allow you to go down if you like. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, my lady. <laughs> been so long. I, do, I, do, I do kind of wish we could take Dobby with us. But, uh, like, gotta give Dobby some clothes. Or... So uh, Grimmel, uh, Grimmel like he bows like way low, like his his head like scuffing the ground. So like uh, Griddle Grim is like way down, like at like at her waist level basically as he goes down. But he's he's you know the troll like sweeps out his massive arms, you know, uh, like prostrates himself before, it. and she just kind of puts one long long white fingered hand upon his uh his uh bald brow you know and, um and looks kindly at griddle grim and she says thank you so much gentlemen i shall return shortly and uh you're kind of taken with how and it's a little bit chilling how um easily she lies mm-hmm. right it's just, mm-hmm. you just like, <laughs> nothing to her you know you know um interesting and, little note there <laughs> she uh <laughs> yeah she she uh <laughs> And they get they get back up again. She's like, "Shall we be? Shall we be off then on our constitutional?" She looks over at Argus. Yeah. <laughs> that little comment John, was the nutmeg in the in the pumpkin spice latte. That you was like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. you you exit out there. Um, there is still the sleigh tracks from Licorice's sleigh, but of course he is nowhere to be seen. And you are out there underneath the twinkling uh, sunlight, uh, with the snow falling gently. Anybody peering at us through the windows? Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. Uh, and they... Yes, in fact, there are you know there are numerous numerous frost elf uh, powdered powdered wigged heads that are looking out with interest. Okay, also all, all let's smiling. Not go in the, let's not go in the general direction of the portal, right? That you guys came through. Let's go in a slightly different direction. Circle around yeah, a bit. Sure. So the, the, the pathway the back to the forest within the southwest. So you can go in any other direction you like. Southwest. Man, terrible airline. Okay, let's just go due west. Due west. Due west. Okay. Our only sponsor, Mike. You can't say that on the video. <laughs> 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 All right. So Wait, you. What you, about this fine Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> Spons in my belly. All right. So you get off the uh, ice lake and you uh, approach the the trees. And you can see as you get closer and closer to the trees that um, that, uh, right. that Princess Snowfall at dusk actually uh, gets slower in her movements, and she has to rest herself a little bit against her child's shoulder as she walks. And she's like, "I can, I, I can go no further. My father's power is too strong here. If there is a All time, right, right now is the time." So. Okay. Uh, Do you want to do the words? Just, I will, I will. Uh, just before you say the words, one more time. Um, this is uh, another thing that, similar to like not being able to wish for more wishes, another thing that you you're not going to be able to do is do one of those long winded run on wishes where it's like, I wish this and this and this and this and this. Right? There's no ands. You can wish for a thing. I think we have a singular thing here. Okay. I, I think I have some specificity. There's probably a way to screw us, but. Uh... Do we no, want to I, practice it a little bit here, buddy? Do we want to uh, just maybe run it by us? Just, 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 just run it. Do it we live. practice do it anything? Live. Just do it live. Just do it. When there's do a crevice, you oh. jump in, baby. Go for it. Jump I'm in. ready. I'm all ears. Uh, hold, all on. Right. All right. Speak hold on. Speak on. I need a beverage for this. Speak there unto me there your go. wish. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Let's see how, let's see how <laughs> I screw until it. I, you have until I finish pouring this to think. Okay. Halifax. He feels the arcane energy around him as he wishes to sever Lady Snowfall at Dusk's blood ties so that she may live a long, happy, mortal life with her love in the mortal realm. But wait, you didn't make him more, you didn't make him alive either. Did you? That's 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 an and but, but I said a long, happy life with her love in the realm of mortals. Okay. It's one thing. Okay. Right. So she she hears it, um, and you can see her. Uh, uh, how would it actually manifest? I guess it would be kind of mind blowing if she would. She uh, her her physicality would where you know her uh, physiognomy would is that the word would actually um, 
would actually change. Yeah. So she uh, she grows substantially smaller, probably loses about two to three inches in height. Um, her her skin uh, flushes with blood in color, right? Um, and her eyes darken to a dark, dark brown, like a hazelnut. Loses all that crystalline sort of Fremen sort of blueness. Um, and uh, But her hair and her skin still stays, except for the ruddiness uh, that's introduced from all the blood, um, uh, stays the same. Um, but there, there's a twinkling in her eyes now, like a, a merriment, um, you know, but also a deep, deep sadness also in her eyes as well as she learns what mortality actually is. She's sort of, sort of uh, slammed with that knowledge all of a sudden. And, um, and you just know this, you just can kind of sense it whenever you look into her eyes that, uh, that, uh, that knowledge comes with a great, great burden. Um, maybe even sure. stronger than I feel, um, I feel it every day. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know we all know what it's like, uh, but even and they're, maybe, both, but, they're both babies. Yeah. They're both babies. Well, it's, it's a, it's an almost like more binding, uh, confirmation of destiny than what she had already been, uh, uh, what she had already been um, experiencing through her imprisonment by her father, sure. right? Um, right? A much more uh, f- uh, final thing, um, especially yeah. with the knowledge that the, the previous uh, finality was washed away by you. Um, so, but that is quickly taken over um, as she looks into Sir Chide's eyes, whose love is uh, renewed. Uh, again within the span of about 30 minutes as he see, um as he sees uh his uh you know his mortal love now um and um uh, with that you can actually so as they look into each other's eyes mortal and upon mortal and all around here now it's just all mortal love baby every every round right everyone around here right on the edge of the glade um now you can feel the world shifting but now, but now you can really feel it you can feel like the ground is actually like shaking a little bit right um, that rift in the sky, that purple gash that uh, that Elfric came through, you can actually start to see it, like starting to like close up, like really, really yeah. slow. We gotta yeah. go. like mortals. This is how mortals run. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we do this all the time. Yep, <laughs> We're experts. <laughs> If there's one feature that this party shares, it's it's love of running. <laughs> <laughs> we just love to run. I was going to say mortality, but yeah, love of running, sure. Yeah, just like this, a little dash of screaming. <laughs> <laughs> if you right. do this, you run faster. <laughs> yeah, jazz hands. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, as you uh, now, you, 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 I, I assume that you're not going to run just blindly into the forest, right? You're going to need to kind of circle around the glade till you get yeah, to the no, path. Yeah, we're circling back. Yeah. No, but we should go into the trees, and so they can't see us anymore. It'll get yeah. lost. And then yeah. run. Right. But we got snow. Right. I'm worried about the elves in the tower watching which direction we no, go. I understand that. I'm saying okay. we go into the trees, we've got snow, we should be okay. Yeah, I think so. I mean, to be fair, if we go... Ten feet into the trees, we yeah, are really shrouded by. We are shrouded by the trees and can still see the clearing. So we can. They're going to be able to track us in the snow yeah. anyway. Actually, so airy trees, kind of baby. Movie. That's airy true. Trees. They can, they can track us through the snow. So maybe we just go for it as fast yeah, as possible. Run. Straight there, yeah. run. Yeah. Okay. The, the temple's collapsing. The ball's yeah. rolling behind us. <laughs> right. I okay. Dodge the darts. I don't enter the beam of light. Thousand beams of light. <laughs> you guys, John is looking at a table. This is not good. <laughs> yeah. That's a poor guy. <laughs> okay. It's his D one hundred elves chart. I can tell. I can tell. The light returned to John's eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pay no face, attention to like... my screen. I'm looking at. Um, so yeah. All right. That's a smart plan, though. You go into the forest and uh, to avoid notice from the frost elves, and uh, you you flit from tree to tree as the ground is shaking around you. Um, you. Uh, you what you start to see as you make your way back towards the path, no sign of the frost elves. But what you do see is that the the swaying corpses in the fir trees actually start to snap off, and they hit the ground like around you, and they sort of explode like overripe melons around you, not harming you, but it's just like extremely disturbing as these uh, corpses just sort of scatter their bones all across the the frost laden snow, um, and it's just like putrid moss and and uh, rotted flesh as it kind of uh it explodes outwards like these kind of gross gourds right so the 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 that uh sharp crystal smell of like 
of fresh laden snow is washed away by putrescence and corruption um, all around you as it's uh, as it's hitting the ground. And you you finally find the path. When you find the path and you're running back down it, you hear coming out from the forest around you, you hear the howling of wolves from all sides, but uh, the deep, deep howling of something much more monstrous than just your every, uh, everyday size wolf. Um, and you see closing in from all sides, as you see off in the distance about 50 yards away, you can see the glowing candles around you. Uh, so these wolves are closing in. There appears to be... Seven of them coming from either side, three on one side, four on the other from a distance. Um, uh, I'm going to look at, let's see, what's your, what's your guys' um, movement rate, slowest movement rate? Huh. No. Uh, let's see, you want the overland or encounter? Encounter. 20. Oof. Yeah, we're the same. Oh, uh, plate mail. Yeah, yeah. Sir Chide would also be, would, would also be 20. Yeah. Fortunately, wolves can't bite through chain mail, so that's... Okay. They just scrape their teeth on it. Sounds terrible, but we're going to be fine. All right. Um, Sir, Chide, uh, Sir Chide basically puts Lady Snowfall dust behind him, uh, and he reaches for a non-existent blade. He looks over at <laughs> Halifax. <laughs> My blade! Master Swinney! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How deep does your honor roll, bro? <laughs> you better go all the way. Uh, quickly, John, quickly. John gives, 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 a better he gives it to him. <laughs> he gives it to him. He's not going to take it. Keep oh, it guys. Okay, so he, he he grabs the sword, and you can see a a, a grin uh, spread over his face as he takes it. But then you know the you know the grim the grim reality of the situation uh, faces him again as he stands um, tries to keep Princess Snowfall at dusk behind him. As he faces off against one flank of these wolves attacking Halifax, what uh, weapon are you reaching for instead? Or are you uh, just like, I'm not reaching for anything. I'm running as fast as I possibly can. I'm going to uh, reach out my hand to Argus. Uh, give me your old spear. No, no, I'll slap the mace in his hand. I'm Ar Argus likes his spear. Fuck you, Halifax. <laughs> you don't get what you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean it's it's mechanically not relevant in this. It's, same, it's, it's a lovely you know, flange can, mace with a spiral hilt. Yeah, I give him the flange mace, but uh, okay. Argus's right. whole shtick is the spear and the shield thing. So, so you're running, you're running, you're running as combat? fast as you can. what? Are what we Mike? Do the combat? You're I running. Well, you're running. You're running as fast as you can, but um, uh, unless well, you tell me, you fast guys, which I assume is Alfred and Snell. Do you do do you run as fast as you can, or do you try to stay with the group and try to protect the group? Um, I mean, I, like, what, I what is well, I can actually, I can actually answer the question for you really easily just by knowing what your encounter movement rate. So, how fast are you guys? What what is your top speed? Forty. You don't know your forty is what I said. Oh. <laughs> I've been I've been avoiding this question since we started the campaign. I never what pulled it out. Slacker. <laughs> <laughs> what armor are you wearing? None. None. Okay. Sorry. Well, you Probably okay? 40, yeah. yeah. You have a. Let's see. It's a. Uh, it's what is it? He has a one twenty. Uh, exploration one twenty. Yeah. So he'd be a forty, right? He'd be a forty encounter. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. guess what? That's not fast enough because these wolves are fast. <gasps> yeah. So, um, even if you guys are booking it, go ahead. No, go, go. I was gonna pull out my bow and lose, yeah, tell, lose tell me. Arrow. Yeah, oh, can I do it before they're like too close? Can I go ahead and just yeah, they're coming from a distance, but yeah. you can easily tell now as you guys are running as fast as you possibly can that those wolves are going to close on you before you can make the 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 yeah. candles. Do you continue to run, or are you going to stop? Stop it. Stop. You're going to stop. Okay. Okay. And listen. Yeah. All yeah. Right. In fact, uh, in fact. Well, um, Vanilla ice yeah, too. Around Weird. Us. We could we could climb a tree. <laughs> I don't think wolves can climb like a bear can. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's no time to cast a spell right now, but you can certainly loose an arrow if you like. John, I'm going to brace my spear. All right, spear's coming out. Can I climb a tree? Uh, you can you can attempt to. You, it, it's an open world. You can I attempt mean, anything you want. There are three with low enough branches that I can scuttle up it. Yes, they're they're all um, coniferous trees, so all the branches are pretty low. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go up a tree. 
Okay, you're gonna try to go up a tree. All right, cool. So, um, uh, let's let's loose an arrow first. That would probably be the first thing. So, Snell, go ahead. I just rolled a four. That's a four. Good. That yeah, ain't gonna do it. Five, five total. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell you the AC. These things have ACs of thirteen. Yeah. All right. Your uh, arrow goes wild as your shaky fingers uh, make it uh, rocket off into a different direction while um, Alfric uh, attempts to climb the tree. Um, there are plenty of handholds. Um, normally with a normal surface, you'd only have like a one in six chance, but I'll give you a three in six chance to get up there safely. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, indeed. All right. So I'm going to roll, roll a six sided. You want a one, two or three? Oh, no! <laughs> it's okay. No! It's all right. You're not going to hurt yourself. You're just not able to get. You're not able to get purchase. So oh, you slide down the tree. Oh, <laughs> savage it. roots that are waiting to chew my ass. That's true. Yes, you are. You are every every bite that the wolf takes of you, he's not taking of the pretty girl. That's right. Exactly. Yes. So uh, take one bite. That's normally, normally it would be Alfric in the center of uh, of a circle of protectors, but now it's Princess Snowfall at dusk. Well, Alfric is out there, sort of in the open. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in the open? Because you went you off the path to climb a tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is on the path. All right, so. Um, uh, so just, just the serpentine, just serpentine. the the wolves close in at all sides. They're going to move into attack. So uh, first of all, I'm going to ask if any of you plan to. Well, one of you is going to cast a spell. Yes. What are you? What are you? What are you going to cast? I'm going to cast fleet. Hell yeah! Hell uh, yeah! Uh, come on, sleep. <laughs> well, look at God's head. So. Um, Yeah, you yes. could just try to sleep me and pretend you're an ally to the L uh, wolves, Mike, and then you'll get away. He likes it. I was Don't give me no ideas, man. Don't get... <laughs> uh, Princess, Princess Snowfall at Dusk is also going to cast a spell. Um, oh, and man, uh, nuclear war. Yeah, she kind of holds up her fingers and kind of looks at them as if she can't, doesn't quite know how to use them correctly because they're not quite as fragile and delicate as they once were, but she she manages the gestures as something starts to form in the air. Um, okay, so now we're going to roll for initiative, baby. Please, somebody roll well, because I can't. I can't. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do I it. Just, I just can't. I got us into this mess. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, can't suck it. Suck three. it, PCs. <laughs> can't beat a three. I already did. I already oh, done. All right. And they come in from all sides. I'm going to roll a. Um, uh, I'm going to roll a d6 as well. If I roll a one to three, hold on. If I roll a one to three, that means that's uh, four. It's the four wolves that are going to be coming in from Alfred's side. If I roll a four to six, it's the three wolves. Understand? It's the range on sleep is 240. So I could have cast a spell like 10 minutes ago. Fuck. Well, they, they weren't coming 10 minutes ago. Well, like, I, I said, you didn't, you didn't, yeah, you didn't, have the, you didn't have the time to cast the spell when you first noticed them coming. They were coming quickly from all sides. Okay. Snell had his bow out and, and stuck an arrow. Okay, so hold on. One to three. Six, they're going to come in. Uh, so you're only going to be facing three Alfred instead of four, which is good. All right. Uh, so they're going to come in. They move and they come, they come into attack. So I'm going to say that um, there's going to be uh, two against Alfred. Um, and then we're going to do, um, let's see who, who wants to be on Alfred's side of the road? Uh, I will. Yes. Okay. Ben the wizard. All right. Then I'm going to roll some more dice here. Give me a second. Okay. So then how long? No, we got, uh, hold on. Halifax is one, and then we've got um, Chide. That's what I'm talking about. There's a snowfall is not a target. Okay, so here's the way it's going to work. Alfred, there's going to be there's going to be three coming in from the western flank. Where our, uh, our two A guys are there, Argus and Alfred. Alfred is going to get attacked by two of them. Um, Argus is going to attack by one. On the right side, there's going to be, um, uh, two are going to be against uh, Halifax. One against Chide and one against Snow. 
Got it? Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Uh, stats, stats, flipping between things. Give me a sec. Burp, burp. They got a thing, and it's not good. Hmm. Okay, Alfred, what's your AC? Nine. What are the you, chances of rolling above a nine? Is nine. Oh, really? It's brutal. It's nine, uh, Mike. Right. <laughs> AC nine. Hold that sucker up there. Uh, what's your AC, uh, Argus? Um, okay, that, so I have an important question for you, John, which yep. is, uh, am I still concussed? Yes. He okay. said that earlier. Uh, well, I just wanted to double check. And mm. the, um, I, I believe the effects of the brewmaster's balsam are still upon me. Yes. Yes. Despite having eaten the little healing wafers, they didn't eliminate that at all. No. Okay. So, uh, I believe the brewmaster's balsam affects my AC. Yeah, you're minus two to AC and saves right now. Okay, so my AC is 17. 17, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so on the <laughs> on the western flank, the these, wolves, these wolves come pounding out of the forest. Alfred slips down the tree and is immediately beset by two of them who snap at him and uh, grab hunks of flesh from him. Um, and at the same time, the third uh, barrels around those two and slams into Argus as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Alfred, you're going to take a total of nine points of damage. I am so dead. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are out. You are I am out. at negative five. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Argus. Yeah. You're going to take four hit points of damage. Okay. I um, am going to instead... This wasn't a critical, was it? No. This is a regular hit. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm going to allow the wolf to chew up my shield as I shove my spear in his belly. Nice. So, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So, yeah, it leaped upon you. So, you will get the spear um, brace thing. Um, but you, yeah. you have to toss the shield aside as it, it yep. tears into that. On the right side, um, we've got uh, Halifax. What did you see? It's a 19. 19. A miss up both on Halifax, uh, up against Sir Chide, who has not seen battle for 800 years. Can he take it? <laughs> he can. He fends them off bravely with uh, the blade of Sir Chide. And lastly, Snell. What did your AC, Snell? I mean, technically, that's the blade of Sir Halifax now, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. All right, so, uh, okay. Snell, you are able to slip aside as you see it coming from quite a distance, and you're like, Whoosh, and it, it snarls at you as it passes by. Um, all right, Elfric. Death. 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 Uh, yeah, you got a nasty one, too. Yeah. The wizards get the, uh, the like, death curse thing where they can... No? We don't do that mm -hmm. here? That what? Oh, when they die? Oh, yeah, oh, when he's, they die. He, he's not... He's not dead yet. Uh, dead all right. Yet. Roll, me a just, just D, has... roll me a D6, Mike, and then um, also roll me a D12, but I don't want them added up. Got it. Look at the bones. Got a little bit of the lich face. That's D6 all. Six is a one. Okay. And then a D twelve. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> you take Ooh. eleven points of damage. <laughs> no, it's worse than that because he, he had, he's in he's in a, you're at negative five, right? Yeah. Fucking oh, shit, dude. It's bad. Uh oh. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. All right, so you are at. You are digested in the belly of several wolves. <laughs> you you have spent a thousand years being digested by the starlight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what? That sleep spell would have been real nice. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that would have been. Nice. <laughs> I've been the cast, well, man. I've been saving it for forever. Well, you. We wiggle his uh, dead on, fingers. Can the can the spell still go off? Uh, the disabled arm. You're gonna have that for. Let's see. That's gonna be a long time. <laughs> 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 you'll be out for, for i don't know in nine sessions are you cool Oof. with that okay Whole here we go down. we might not even get to that because it all depends on a save you're about to make so first of all okay. you uh you received uh, this all happened in your arm um it basically uh uh they both 
basically tear into the same arm. And so it's like two gigantic dire wolf arms on one on one of your arms. Um, and they're going to basically attempt to um, yank it out, basically rip it right out. Uh, oh. So we're going to see if that just happened. Right. I, I don't want to do this. Can I go? Can I step out of the room? <laughs> so I need you to make. I need you to make. A, oh. This is a very important save for you, man. Because if you don't make this, oof, it's gonna be rough. Uh, it's gonna. Wizard. This is gonna be a save. A save versus paralyze. Paralyze. Blah, paralyzation. Right, let me get my character pulled up here. <laughs> yeah, you need stats. What, what number are we looking for here? We have to let the people right, know. Save versus paralysis. Is that what you said? Uh, no, it's pet, petrification. Uh, no, pa para paralysis. Yeah, paralysis. 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 I'm Same sorry. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. So it's, uh, I got it at 13. So I have to roll 13 or higher, right? 13 or higher. On a 20 oh, yeah. That's correct. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. 17! Oh, yes. hey. Hey. Holy cow. Nice, dude. Amazing. Very nice. Amazing. I like how you did that with both arms. Okay. <laughs> if, <laughs> yeah, 17! If you had failed that save, your arm uh, would have been ripped out of its socket. Yeah. Um, uh, and chewed on by wolves. Needless to say, though, um, they basically mangle your arm beyond all recognition. Um, you are knocked unconscious from the massive amount of blood, lo blood loss, and they are basically over top of Elfric. Um, uh, he has two fatal wounds. All right. So that is not good. Uh, every round he can make a, like a death save where he has to roll a one on a D six. And if he does, he removes one fatal wound. You guys can also attempt to remove a fatal wound by going over there and healing him, which requires that intelligence check halved round down under on a D 20 in order to do that. Right. Okay. If he does not remove all of his fatal wounds within three rounds, he dies. So having two fatal wounds is really, really brutal. So it's not, he's not, he's not out of the woods yet, but he has not lost his arm yet. Okay. Um, in addition, you're also suffering uh, from a disabled arm, which, you know, that'll be the least of your worry should you actually survive this. Okay. So that was only the top of the first round. <laughs> okay. So uh, the left flank uh, dire wolves are doing their duty. The right flank wolves are not doing their duty. <laughs> they apparently are, are the, the backup, the B team. Um, at the bottom of the round, however, um, it is now your guys' turn. Uh, so it is movement first. Um, all of you guys are now engaged in melee, so you can't move, actually. You're going to have to declare that at the top of the round. So uh, uh, you can't do missile. And now it spells. And it's a snowfall at dusk. Who was going to cast her spell? And she does. Heal. I'm the wizard. <laughs> Not what she was going to cast, so she cannot cast that. How would she know that was going to happen? Exactly. Oh, I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Larry, don't try to climb trees. <laughs> as soon as I slid down the tree trunk, I knew I was dead. That was like, it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right. Uh, luckily for you, she was going to back you up in your casting. Oh. And she casts sleep. Uh, let's see. Total of two hit, two d eight hit dice of creatures of four hit dice or lower. Mm -hmm. Checking, checking. Don't forget to reticulate those splines, man. Indeed. Mm. I almost, I'll give it to her. I'll give it to her. So I'm not that cruel. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to roll some dice. 2d8. Here we go. Boom, boom. I want to oh, see it. Oh, look at that roll, baby. Eight and a Ooh. seven. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Almost maxed it. Uh, okay. Pretty simple. All right. So that's going to be. Uh, Excess is wasted. So. Unfortunately, it's only going to be two. It's almost three, but it's only going to be two. Um, she will definitely do the two that are on top of Elfric. Right? So she's yeah. like, and she, uh, they are about to sort of like basically gnaw on his, uh, on his limp arm, his limp form. And then they just sort of like, oh, and they kind of collapse on top of Elfric. Keep you warm. You, you, guys can, you guys can coup de gras them, but only with an edged weapon. So. They're sleepy sleepies. They're basically out of it. Uh, now minute. now it is uh now it is melee. So you guys are all in melee, so feel free to attack if you wish. 
Well, you guys all go first. I have to go last. I, well, I have my bow oh, drawn, right. so I have to switch over to the spear, yeah? Uh, yes, you would have to drop the bow and pull out a spear. That's basically all you could do, unfortunately. Because the, yeah. spear's, the spear's not quick. And unless you want to pull out a quick weapon. Do you have a quick weapon? I have a sword. It's a sword of a weapon. It is. It's one of the I'll advantages. Sword sword. All right, I pull the sword out. Cool. And you can attack with it, because it's quick. I will, I will do so. Nice. Is this going to be our first damage that we've done? Uh, this is a 15 plus 1, a 16 hit. That's a hit. AC 13. Oh. I, will I will telegraph ACs if I do oh, not did, yeah. if I do not remind me. Okay. Yeah, you said it was 13, so. Yep. Calling a D8 damage. Oh, and it fell off the table. I will reroll. That's a 5. 5, okay. Uh, all right, you slash at it and open up some part of its side as uh, some blood leaks out and it snarls at you, snapping at its both at you and at the wound at the same time. Next up, all right, uh, I will uh, try to uh, smite the wolf backing me with our cool, cool mace. Whap! Okay. Uh, oh, that, but I miss. That's an eight. An eight is not going to do it. No I'm, joy. Used, I'm used more to the sword, you know. The the mace kind of throws me off a little bit. Sure, sure. Or a sportsman. Uh, is Sir Chai going to attack? Uh, he'll wait for you if you want. If you want him to go first, he will. But he ha Ted concussed. has the concussion. Go next. What's that? I'm concussed. Sir Chai goes next. Oh, right. You have the, your last initiative. I'm sorry. I forgot that. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. He will swing with the blade. Uh, and he misses, unfortunately. Um, he looks a little bit worried as he sort of, uh, as the wolf snaps at his blade um, and he's not able to find purchase. And he looks back at you and he goes, this might be beyond us. We may need to break away, he says. And you, sizing up as well, realize that uh, this is uh, could quite well be the end of you if you don't think carefully. Um, and uh, that is the end of the round. So now, top of the round, before we roll for... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Argus. Yep, go ahead. All right. Uh, I will. Uh, so I had braced my spear on that. Hopefully, yes. I will yep. cure that wolf. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, I do not skewer a wolf. Oh, no. All right. All right. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you guys are not able to find purchase. They, they seem to be dodging all around you and snapping at your blades. Top of the round. Um, now, uh, I ask if you are going to cast a spell. No one has spells. Uh, Princess, Princess Snowfall. <laughs> yeah, Princess Snowfall does, does not have any um, that she would be able to find useful here. Uh, she also looks very, very worried as her, her newly found mortality is about to be tested. Um, and uh, what you also need to declare here is whether or not you are going to move within melee, which means either a fighting withdrawal, which gets you half your encounter movement rate, or a full retreat. Right. If you if you retreat fully and you lose initiative, your opponents that were facing you get a bonus of plus two against you, and you lose your shield bonus to AC. However, you get to move your full movement rate. How far away are they from the portal? Uh, you're not very far. You're almost there. You would say probably maybe about 30, 40 feet. More than what the twenty foot fighters can go, though, right? Correct. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. guys just two rounds, right? If uh, no, if you have to do the fighting withdrawal, it'll take you four rounds. Right. On the other hand, uh, that is doing that means we're leaving you behind. Let's That's say, fine. okay, you know what? I'll, I'll revise it. I'm not going to make it that cruel. We'll, we'll say that the, um, if, if you, if you can break away, do a full retreat and win initiative, you can get to the glade. All right. Wait, but, later the portal. I mean, sorry, sorry. not the, the portal. The portal, I'm sorry. Um, you can get to the portal. But there's a lot of ifs there because you have to declare a full retreat, right? Win initiative and get out there. And then you still have to deal with Elfric's body. Okay, so just would be aware. We, would, it, would we be able to, like, drag his body with us? Or is that, like, somebody breaking off separately to do That's the check? Some, someone would have to break off and do it separately because you're going to be moving slower with Elfric. Can it Meta game here, guys. I will not be offended if you leave me behind. <laughs> leave me behind. I understand. I 
it, it, it's okay. I will I will show up next week. I will play a friar that's fat and happy, and that's what I am. <laughs> right. It's okay. Yeah, no, I I understand that, Mike. But I think that uh, in character, if we could think of a way to save you, we would save you. So we're trying to think of a way to save you. Uh, and I would I would I would make the point that I look fucking dead. My arm is like out of its socket. It's lying there. I'm in a giant pool of blood. You guys could re- end up like rescuing a corpse. I still might die, right? John, so, John, do we know what? Have any idea what would happen if we fed him one of the wafers? Is that a kind? Is that even kind of a thing that can happen in this in- initiative kind of setting? We pop one of those in his mouth, and oh, you could certainly do. The, yeah, you could, you could try to do that. Yeah. You, you guys have been also be surrounded by more more wolves here in about two point five seconds. Uh. Right. What what would it require me to pull the whistle out <laughs> of my pouch? <laughs> uh, to pull it out? Uh, yeah. You could probably, if you dropped your weapons and pulled it out, I would allow you to blow it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys. Remind me about the whistle again? Out. It's just a whistle I bought. But, <laughs> but not, not explicitly a dog whistle, but maybe if I blow it really hard and run real fast, they'll all come for me. Is what I'm just saying. Maybe I can get oh, oh, okay. yeah, the right. dogs Fair to enough, come yeah. for me, and you guys can try to grab Alfred. I mean, this is, I don't want to talk too much meta, but I'm just desperate for ideas. So this is my creative attempt to get the dog's attention with a very loud, shrill sound. And so, okay. a fast run, that would make them all, their prey instinct would maybe like increase and make them want to chase me because I looked like easy game. Yep, you know that's a good idea. Um, as far as my, the, that's my proposal. As far as the um, healing uh, wafers go, um, mm-hmm. I, I, there's no reason to hide the the, the system from you. Basically, if um, magical healing doesn't restore hit points when you have fatal wounds, but what it does do is for every two points of magical healing that you normally would do, it would remove a fatal wound. So if you shove two wafers into his mouth, which you can certainly do, they would heal one of his fatal wounds. Okay. Um, so four in it. Does that get rid of both? What's that? If they shove four wafers in, does that get rid of both? Uh, yes, it would. Yeah. And do those, is there like a, a mechanical? We can only do one wafer at a time, or could we put a double stuff Oreo and just like? Shove <laughs> yeah, it they're they're very thin. You know, you know, communion <laughs> wafers are a little. Yeah. They're thin, my friend. Yeah, you, yeah they're thin. The critical condition of they're just wafer thin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right let's so try. Could, guys, could I'll, I'll try to make more. a diversion. I'll try to make a diversion. Y'all try to help them out. I'll okay, so I, I, first, before we roll for initiative, we haven't even rolled for initiative. Our um, I'm. I'm asking you now, is there any movement in melee? What's going on? My plan my plan is to full retreat while blowing this whistle so that I try to bait them out after. Got it. Argus? Right. Uh, Argus will try to fighting retreat towards Alfric. Fighting retreat. Okay, so half movement. Understand? Yep, okay, cool. That, Halifax? Half movement, with half movement, can I get to, Hal- can it, can I get to um, Alfric? Yes, you can. Yep. Okay, okay so if Halifax and, and Argus can both get to Alfric, Maybe we can, we can all die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sweet. I just want you to know that in, in my mind, I'm seeing Jeff Goldblum like waving that flare at the T Rex right now. Yeah, right, right, yeah, <laughs> totally. really, really. I love it. Okay, cool. All right, let's do oh, it. Wait, and and he'll he'll say he'll say to Chide, uh, go with him. Get 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 her to safety. Yeah. Okay. Follow Snow. Uh, he 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 nods grimly. Um, Princess Snowfall does is looking very flustered. Um, and uh, not the least bit angry as well. Um, as she noticed that, strangely enough, she's actually looking up at the sky. Everyone roll for initiative. Oh, I shit. I did the last one and, that, and beat that it. That sucks. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you got to roll a six. Somebody else do it. I did the last one and did bad. Well, By the way, before before we, I, I wasn't planning to run to the gate because that would complicate the issue. And I was trying to distract them away so y'all could escape. I guess oh, okay. I could, I guess I could run at the gate, but wouldn't that just make the situation run the same? Gate. You might just, as well, I guess. Okay, I'll just run towards the well. gate. See the, okay. All right, I'll roll this. Let me let me clear this. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Screw you, John. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> are you <laughs> kidding me? That's not gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm concussed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't expect that much from me, man. What are you guys even doing? 
Okay. Oh, oh. much good loot. You guys, wait. All right. So hold we on. So uh, hold on. Soccer. Argus, uh, you are fighting retreat, so you're not going to take any penalty, which is good, um, which means you can still, well, you don't have your shield. But so what is your AC now without the shield, but still being concussed? It's still, still oh, suffering from uh, the, it's 15 uh, now, right? 15? 15, yeah. 15, all right. Hit. You sound so sad about that. Oh, <gasps> John. Yep. Six points. Saw that. Are you on out? me? On you, yep. Are you out? Oh, they hit me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I rolled, a, I rolled a 17 naturally. Yeah, I'm... I only had four it's, hit points. Ooh, it's no good. All right, so uh, uh, they did six, so you're at negative two, right? All right. And it wasn't a critical? It was not a critical. I rolled a 17, natural. Um, okay, so we'll figure out in just a second. Um, the <sighs> ones on Halifax, there are two of them. Halifax is doing a fighting retreat as well over to Alfred's body, correct? Halifax, what's your AC? Just 19. normal? 19. All right, that's good. Barely a miss. Ugh, brutal. Nat 20. Oh, you have a helmet. I, you have a helmet. I have a helmet. I used, oh. Uh, I have a helmet. All right, cool. So you, you, you okay, so yeah, they grabs you by the head and you're just like, rock. <laughs> just <laughs> yanks that helmet off and it shakes it right off and you're like, whoa. The hair. Uh, that, that, that last hair. So <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> it's like the gallons of Halifax. Oh, yeah. It just loosed the hair. <laughs> now it's in trouble. Uh, you strangle <laughs> the wolf with your hair, man. Yeah, Strength. yeah, please tell me a nice big breeze comes up and it's just. They yeah, dude. Totally. Well, it certainly looks good. Uh, Sir Chide is beating ass with Princess Silfall at dusk, um, making, making sure she's in front, so he takes the brunt of it. Um, the wolf snaps at him. Um, he's doing a full retreat, though, so he's going to lose two to his AC. Or it's going to get a plus two. Never mind. Yeah, he doesn't have a shield, does he? Uh, no, and I don't think that's going to do it for him. I think he might actually get hit. Hold on. Uh, Chide. Yeah, he's going to get hit. Ox being wow. mortal. It does. He's just realizing this as he feels pain, real pain for the first time. Where is my mouse? There it is. Mm. Oh, oh boy! Uh, Six points to Sir <laughs> Chide. Chide's still up though. He's, he uh, yells in pain though. Oh, is it from behind? Is he's like, run, my dear, run! And Snell, who is awesome. Who is full retreat? Right. What's your AC with? Uh, just normal AC. What's your normal AC? Thirteen. I just rolled another net 20. Oh! <laughs> oh. Guess who oh. doesn't have a helmet? Uh. Oh, minimum damage, though. I got two points of damage. You still up, hopefully? Okay. I'm still up. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I rolled a one and a one. Oh. All right. Okay. It's um, your, your guy's even, turn. Even digitally, GM dice. I'm gonna, I am, yeah. I am gonna, I'm gonna blow my whistle real hard. Yep. As we're running. Praying. Yes. That it gets some of their attention. And I'm in between blowing the whistle breaths, I'm gonna yell at her to go for the gate. And I'm gonna like slightly veer away to try to give her because it doesn't seem like it's okay. Okay, okay, yeah. So, heroic. That, I love you so much right now. It's so heroic. That, that, that piercing whistle uh, shatters the crystal air. Um uh and you see like all of the wolves, obviously, all their ears like snap up. Um, but we'll have to see what happens uh, after the round is over here. So um uh, actually, at the, actually, at the top of the round, we should probably have Mike uh, make his death saving throw. So, why don't you make a roll a d6, Mike, and try to get a one? All right. Boop. Oh yeah! Did you get it? Nice, dude. It. Whoa! <laughs> There's like a little delay, unfortunately, but yeah, that's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so you remove a fatal wound. One, one is gone. Like, You're... Like, put it back. <laughs> I can take it. You see a little bit of color rise back into uh, uh, under uh, underneath the wolves that are sitting on top of them. Um, <laughs> so, right. Okay. So Snell uh, whistles and runs off to the side a little bit, yelling for the princess and Chai to run through the gate. Um, and uh, Argus is out. Oh, we have to figure out what's going on with Argus first of all. Yeah. So hold on. Backtracking. Going back to death of dismemberment. Uh, Argus, roll me a d6 and then a d12, but I need the total separate. Okay. D6 is a five. 
12. A 12? Oh, brutal. I don't know, dude. Brutal. <laughs> it's either super awesome or super bad. <laughs> it's bad. Well, good news is, is that you're concussed for a whole lot longer. <laughs> it's a guy's head man come on uh, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a fatal wound um we're gonna call you argus the faceless from now on and you got your skull cracked just like good old snell so let's see what happens here um make a save versus paralysis no i don't wanna <laughs> let, let us know what the target number is so we know what's what's going on. Don't forget target to number is fourteen. Ooh, tough one. All right. No. Oh. oh, that's a, a ten. Oh boy. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. This is this could get nasty. This could get nasty. Roll me a d six. Oh, it's just keep coming. This is you know the 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 genius of this system is not. The anticip- uh, it's the anticipation. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, totally. it's more dice and more dice. Yeah. What am I rolling? A D6? Yeah, make sure you clear the old one. Uh, three. Now roll a four-sided. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 17 so, times. Um, so the, by pi. So uh, you lost your helmet back in the mortal realm, correct? Nope. You, or you never had to. You still have a helmet? I should have used my helmet back in the mortal realm for that crit that I got ages ago. Yeah. I think of it. So I still have a helmet. I oh, still have the helmet. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right. So basically um, the, the wolf basically grabs you by the head. Um, and instead of shaking you, it basically just closes it. It cl- clips metal and it just oh. squeezes with its jaws. Oh, just crushing the metal into your face. And you can feel like the bones in your head actually like crack just um and one of your jaw like your mandible basically det- detaches from um oh. like oh. Yeah, yeah where it detaches from your skull case ah, I don't um, like it. and it's going to it's permanently j- jack up like what your you know like your smile the way that you kind of you know talk and all that kind of stuff um and you're going to lose permanently one point of charisma oh the rest of his <laughs> life cool, all like 30 seconds of his life yeah Exactly. It's true. Yeah, cool. You better try to charm someone for the last moments. They shouldn't judge you on your disability, man. <laughs> That's true, man. It's a cruel world. It's a cruel but world. You know especially you know you're the, good, the good news, Argus. The good news is that uh nice metal helmet will hold all all your brain matter in. You know, it's a little uh <laughs> <laughs> kind of going the full helm like all the time. Oh yeah, uh, that helmet can never come off now. It's like yeah, permanently no, it's, in there. It's, yeah. Uh, Argus, your uh, your brain was already mush, but it's it literally <laughs> is mush now. It's pretty bad. Uh, okay. Worse. I thought when John said the good news is, I thought he was going to say you're no longer concussed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying the the tack on effect is that he's going to be concussed if he makes it out of this alive, even but longer I, than he already already was. Am I right. unconscious? Oh, yeah, you're a guy. Just absolutely. Once you just if you, you you anytime you hit zero, regardless of what we roll in this chart afterwards, you're you're unconscious. Um, you, but important, good, but important thing here is to, is for those of you who are still alive is that there is um uh we have two people with fatal wounds. Argus has a fatal wound and Elfric has a fatal wound. Got it. I'm I made it back to to uh Alfred. to Alfric and Argus is right, basically right at your feet too because they were fighting. They were pretty much close to each other. All right. Okay, but re- regardless, those wafers they can. I can tell it'll stop them from dying, but it's not going to bring them. It's not going to bring them up, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? No, no. It can't, it, it, or it, wafers. It'll remove the fatal wounds. You won't die. It'll just, it's very stable. It's better for him to try to drag you first than to... Uh, no, but I mean, I, if, if he gives me like five wafers, I'm not going to be at like a couple you will, hit points. You will not wake up. Can't get you from zero to one. It can just... Just, just run. Dying. Just run. Well, why are you doing this? You can't carry two bodies. One of them is in plate mail. Oh, you can't do it. You have to. Away, you have to. We, we haven't seen what the effects yet of our the whistle. Yeah, let's see. Halifax, right, well, what do you do? It's you. It's you, Halifax. Yeah, it's you. yeah it's your action, Halifax. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I have to determine. Um, yeah, you know, I came over. I came over here. I'm of single mind. I had a mission. I was going to come in and shove to, you know, maybe not a double stuff. I'm going to split the double stuff. And put the side with uh, uh, the, uh, the the goo on it in uh, Alfred's <laughs> mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's the cream. You're giving right. him two wafers, right? Split it out. Yeah, he get, he gets two. Right. Nice. All right. 
He showed up to the camera first with a smile, like Oreo. <laughs> Twist. <laughs> Heals what ails you. And you're like, shove into the mouth. Uh, okay, yeah. So you basically shove it into his mouth. You clap the jaw shut. You push off the bodies of the of the wolves. We'll say at least to, to get uh, room to do that. Um, and uh, you can see you can see color return to his to his face. It looks like he um, if if he manages to get out of this, he he will not die. Um, his arm looks jacked, but uh, <laughs> but he he will he will survive. Should you be able to get him out of here? Um, okay. uh, the loud snores come from the two wolves right next to you. I, Me- I, I don't jostle them too much. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Argus okay. is right next to you and um, is uh, you can see uh, blood just like dripping constantly out of the bottom of his helm as, as, as the, the, as the wolf that, as the wolf that attacked him basically like comes to a screeching halt and turns around and like looks at you basically. Right. All right. So, uh, Sir Chide Arr, is, I grew up, I growl right back. Arr. Um, Sir Chide is running. Now he gets to the, to the portal with princess snowfall. It does. They turn around. He bears his arms and he looks questioningly at, at you guys as the whistle blows out. Okay. Um, uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it up to a dice roll, but what I'm going to roll on is I'm going to roll on the, um, the NPC reaction table. Um, you know what? No, no, I'm not. The better roll would actually be morale. Uh, Mine is very low right now. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Yep. Okay. All right. So, um, you guys, you, you players will be able to see this, uh, when we, when you watch the stream, but the morale they have is eight. Okay. I'm just going to tell you straight up. So that means that if they roll, um, if they roll under an eight, if they roll an eight or under, they will stay. Okay. If they roll, we're talking about chide and, and, um, girlfriend, right? No, he's talking about the wolves. No, no, I'm talking about the wolves. What does the whistle whistle freaks him out? Is this on a D10 or a D12? It's on 2d6. Hold on. Uh, oh, right, oh, for right, Christ's right. sake. I'm trying to open up a dog. Hold on. <laughs> trying to do the fine command here. Here we go. Uh, morale. Give me a second. I just want to make sure I get this right because this is a very important role. Morale. Okay. Well, 2d6. Higher than morale score. Equal to or lower than continue. Yeah, okay. I was right. All right. So we want eight or lower. No. We want... High. No, you want, want you want nine high. or you want nine or higher on two d six. I always high. I it's always. Gonna, high. It's going to be tough, but this is a. I think this is the right roll. I think it's a fair roll, basically. Right. Like, yeah. Um. We'll see if the the pitch is high enough and disturbing enough that they would uh, flee or go off towards Snell at least. We'll make, we'll make that another roll. Okay. Uh, do you want me to roll it or Snell? Would you like to roll it? No, you Please roll it make on, us on roll, John. You do it. You do it. Okay. okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're looking for looking for nine or higher. Here we go. Like a look. Didn't do it. Oh, didn't ah, do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a five and a two. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, it screams out, and they 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 back away for a second, um, uh, and they're like, ah, they don't like that at all. Um, uh, but they're but they're just further angered. They're just like annoyed and angry. Um. Uh. All right. So now, top of the round, Halifax. Uh, you are not engaged right now. Um. You've got Argus right next to you, who does have a fatal wound. Okay, uh, Snell, you are also not engaged. Um, you are very close to the gate, but off in a certain direction, like off a little bit to the side, like you said. Um, Chide and Princess Snowfall are right there. Like they, they just don't have to do anything really to just disappear, but they, to go away. Um, uh, what I will say is to give you guys a little bit of a fighting chance is I will say that the um, wolves were disturbed enough by the sound um, that... I'm going to give them a minus one to their initiative when I roll it. Okay. That seems pretty reasonable. So they, they can they're confused and milling about a little bit sort of thing. Right. So they can only top out at five. Okay. All right. So um, uh, none of you guys are in melee, so we don't have to declare it. So let's just roll for initiative and see what happens. I get a minus one. Oh my God. Brutal. That's I rolled three sixes in a row. So I rolled a five. Like That's the best a, wolves ever. I, I rolled a five. That's a five for me. All right. Uh, David, do you want to do it this time? Sure. Uh, 
I got a five as well. Oh, nice. That's what, what does you that want. mean? It's a, it's a reroll. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do title okay. initiative. Yeah. Okay. Nell, go forth and tell our legend. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No! Okay. I'm starting to question what 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 have you uh, engineered on? Out there? <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. He's it's got it's, an auto six roller. Okay. It's insane. It's insane. I know. So another five. No, I need to get a six. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I have, to, I have to get a six. Okay. No, you have to get. Yeah, if I'm you a, get a five or a six, you you five, five or six. Five, five, six. Or, five right, or six. I'm, I'm gonna roll. It, I'm gonna roll this one in Albert just so we can all watch it instead of me announcing it. That's kind of more fun. Okay. Ready? One. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, could this be the end of our heroes? Very possibly. Um, all right. In the next week when we all make new characters. <laughs> right. Okay. So we have, um, they're all up. There's seven of them. It's not going to be good. No, Wait, two, two, two are sleeping. Two are sleeping. Two are sleeping. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, so five. So. Uh, and one is wounded. Snell did hit one. Yeah. I did. Yeah. But they have a decent amount of hit points. Okay. So here's what's going to happen they win initiative. Um, so. Uh, we have Halifax, Chide, um, Snowfall will still not be a target because Chide will do everything he can to protect her. So um, we have five. So two, three. I'm going to roll a D6 uh, as a D3, basically. And one is Halifax, two is Chide, and three is Snell, and that one will get... Uh, two. Wait. One, two. No, wait. No, hold on. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. whoever I choose will only have one attack them. The other ones will have two attack them each. Okay. Here we go. Four is a two, so that's going to be Chide. So Chide only has one. Um, Halifax and Snell are going to have two attacking them. Here we go as they roll. All right. Um, Halifax first. That's a miss. Okay. And finally a hit against Halifax. A natural 19. Cool. I will uh, let him bite my shield. Shield. Awesome. Shield goes away. You survived to fight another day. Um, uh, the one against Chide. Mrs. Chide. And against Snell. Uh, AC against Snell? 13. Misses. 13 is a miss. Nice. Oh, two misses. Look at that. All right. Okay. All right. So there was a possible hit, but the, the shield has torn asunder, but uh, you guys are managed to scramble out of the way. Chide bats away the growling wolf against him. Snowfall lets out a, giant, a little bit of a scream, and he tries to push her back through the through the floating candles. Um, and uh, he yells out, Do you wish me to stay? Go on. Oh. Enjoy your life. <laughs> Go. Make this, I, make this life uh, uh, meaningful. So I should, that, was, that was not very poetic, but you know. <laughs> I will sing your praises for all time. I cannot thank you enough. And he, he and Snowfall uh, disappear into the candles, which sort of waver a little bit. Maybe it'll make the wolves go away. I don't know. The, the, the wolf um, that was attacking him just sort of is like... Mm-hmm. As it sees him disappear and like sniffs the air, <sighs> um, and uh, it's your guy's turn. So you guys are engaged in melee now. Um, each of you has two on you. Flurry of blows, Halifax. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, uh, wrong thing. Uh... All right, so my options are I try away. to smash one of the two. Or full retreat. Well, you can't full retreat uh, right now. You have to declare oh. that at the top of the round, right? Well, okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah. So I either, basically, my only choice is to is to fight them. You you you, you could fight them, but you're also right at Argus, right at Argus. So you could, in the midst of that battle, you could actually attempt to, um, right now, just try to shove a wafer into his mouth if you wanted to. Two. Would two, two, two. I should say, yeah. It'll keep him from immediately. Dying. It don't. It, Mike was right. Don't waste a eight hundred year old magic wafer on me, man. There is no way we're getting out of this at this point. Like we maybe we could have gotten Mike out. 
I don't regret that decision, but you you cannot get us both out of here. You're done. I can't out see. Of well, he, but he he you can't carry two people, dude. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take he's gonna take a swing and see if he gets a, a lucky hit at one. Um, I I can't see him like literally like oh just a minute wolves here let me feed this guy an Oreo. He's he's gonna take a swing. Okay, yep. wolf. absolutely go for Between it. Between those two things, he's gonna like try to brain the wolf. Sure, yep. it'll scare it off. You know. He's going to yell really loud as he's doing this, like mm-hmm. trying not to look like, you know, like I'm, I'm afraid and fighting back. No, it's mm-hmm. like, you're mine now. It's like, Aah! right. Cool. Awesome. And let's see how pathetic this is. Oh, oh, that's a 15. That's it. And I believe my damage dice is eight and add one to you. Cause I'm a strong boy. Here, that old one. Yeah, baby, let's hit hard. That's three points of damage. Three points, okay. It's obviously not enough to drop him, but you do draw blood, and it snaps at you angrily. Uh, Snap okay. right back. Cool. Snell? I mean, dropped both my bow and my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Snell. Still got the whistle. Uh, Snell, chill. I know. Well, can I use it again? Because I would. Uh, well, I'm that's what you gonna, got, I'm, man. I'm, I'm gonna use the whistle, obviously. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, Snell is going to grasp upon the whistle and blow heartily once more uh, with all of his soul. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, once again, trying to give you guys a little bit of a chance here, uh, just looking at the realistically, right? You've blown it once. You're going to blow it again even harder. They don't like the sound of it. Um, they've also have uh, two of their two of their number have been taken out, and two of them uh, have been hit or hurt and are bleeding as well. So they know that you guys have a little bit of fight, although they do think they'd still have the upper number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the morale by one, um, and so we'll give them a seven. And so you, uh, I have to roll an eight or higher in two d six in order for it to be successful. Cool. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's here's the thing. Well, no, I don't want to give myself. Well, no, you did no. say it. You know, this is a good it thing. Worked. Oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. It, it, worked. it worked. Yeah, look at the number. Said, look at the number. No, it's amazing. No, I'm very yeah. excited. But you you said that means. Depending on another roll, they're either going to all chase me or they're all going to run. Yes, so, so this that, is, that, that's, this true. Is that's true. That's <laughs> true. I did say that. I did say that. Yeah. And if, yeah. if I'm going to run, baby, in Halifax, you get out, you get out. You get out. You Dude, make it, make right it count, back. baby. I will I run like no one has okay. run before into that deep Oh, it's so tense. I love it. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> all right. Sorry about the not, not, uh, not uh, short session, Ted. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, Yes, so let's do that. So, um, uh, I'm going to make it fifty-fifty. I don't see any other way around it. I don't think there's, um, you know, they are either really super mad at you or they're just going to take off. Um, so, uh, we will say uh, one to three, they take off. This is D six. One to three, they take off. Four to six, they go after you, Snow. Okay. So okay, we we what we want is one to three. Here we go. Can't be that lucky. So they are gonna. Four six. It's all right. Yep. You know what? It's okay. All right. So they. Um, Can I talk they, this out? Yep. They turn towards you and they're just like they're, they're like whimpering and snarling at the same time as they all sort of like like pull away from whoever uh, from Halifax and uh, from the portal ring and all that uh, stuff and they and they they just glare at you, right? Mm-hmm. So that was bottom of the round. So now it's top of the round. Um, Snell and Halifax, you are both in melee, so you must declare now. What do you want to do before initiative cool. is rolled? Full retreat, baby. Full, Full retreat. retreat. Halifax? Now, this is the question. What do you do? All right. All right. Um, they're coming after me, Halifax. They seem to be distracted over there. Wizard doesn't have any armor. He's pretty light. I'm pretty strong. Argus, full plate. Heavy dude. Mm-hmm. How, how far could I drag or carry... Uh, uh, Alfred, because he's because he's not Alfred. Or would it would it make a difference between the two? If I look at these two guys, I look like a buck twenty, dude. Yeah, Alfred, you could pick up and throw over your shoulder uh, this round. 
uh, you could do, th well, let's see. I'd say you could pick him up. He's right at your feet. You could pick him up and move. Um, and then the next round, you could get into the portal with him. Okay, I'm going to pick him up and move. You're going to pick him up and move. Okay, so you're going to do a, a full retreat, basically. But that does, it's not a big deal because they're not attacking you anyways, right? Yeah. I miss. I missed it. Sorry, I had to get up and go. Are they chasing him or not chasing him? <laughs> hey, they're chasing me. They're chasing him. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry. Let's, now, very important initiative roll. Let's roll. Let's go. There we go. I'm All right. Okay. It. Now, please just fuck, don't roll. <laughs> it's back around. It's back around to me. Come on. Come on. John rolled a two. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm rooting for you guys. Hey, baby. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's all okay. it took. Okay. All right. Can I can I can I talk this out? I'm yes. running, right? Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely. But I don't know where you're running to, so you have to let me know now. I mean, I'm running, I'm beelining straight into the woods, the direction I was going. I've sort of like angled away from the the gate, right? Uh-huh. The whistle work. And I'm gonna run. I mean, maybe I'll try to loop back around, but I think I think <laughs> Snell doesn't have I think Snell knows what's happening. <laughs> this is what I'm getting at. So I think he is. He looks deep into the woods. What about what about a tree? I'm putting it out there. Oh no! I mean, yeah, I could try to get into a tree. That's true. Maybe you'll have more luck than I did. Yeah, the thing not, is, I need. <laughs> here's, here's a, seriously though. The thing is, I need to get enough distance because if I start to climb a tree ten feet ahead of me, they ignore me and they go back and they get Halifax and um, faster uh, than you though. And Alpha. I'm just giving. I'm just no, giving I, you the options to just be. No, no, I know. Yeah. I, I don't. I think it kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm getting at. If they just like, you know, if I hit a tree and then they oh, just keep blowing the whistle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and whistle, run and whistle, right? So I think Snell looks to a point in the distance. Yeah. And the, the chill air enters into his nostrils, right? Mm. And he has a memory of childhood, right? Oh, running, no. <laughs> running. <laughs> look at Terry. I'm just making this up right now. Yeah. Running with it. Running with his brother. You know. Very slow the motion. Crisp, the crisp autumn air of the Dolman one. And he turns his heel. And he throws the coat off the back and just goes. Nice, dude. It's like, fuck it. It is. It's very heroic. <laughs> it's, it's a, all you guys are doing very heroic things. It's pretty, it's pretty great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving watching it. Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, you're slow-mo. You throw it off platoon style. Right, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> you, you beat, beat ass out into the woods as they lope after you. Uh, uh. Uh, howling and growling uh, towards snow. Halifax, you're, you have to physically close your mouth as you gape at the just the sheer level of heroism um, that snow is uh, displaying as he um, as he gives you your chance for your own. Grimace running off into the forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are you what are you doing, Halifax? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, I have uh, uh, Alfred over my shoulder. Uh, I run. Through uh, to the the eight of candles. Yeah, just uh, me, dude. Yeah, I, just ta me. I toss it. I toss him through. Cool. If I can, I can I see through it. Can I see the other side? Uh, no, you can't see the other side. No. Okay. In fact, it looks like he would just be tossing me onto a bed of floating candles. Like it would be like the most moronic thing to do in the world. But you you know okay. better. Yeah. Blind, blind faith. I just call out, Knight, uh, if you can hear me, throw me your shield. Okay. Um. But then you toss him through? Yeah, then I toss Alfred through. Trade right. your wizard for a shield. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw me the shield. I throw you the wizard. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, a shield does not come flinging back uh, through, the, through the gate. But, and if it um, did, and, it would hit you in the head and you'd get a fatal wound and we'd all be screwed. So. <laughs> likely, <laughs> likely. Yeah. But you do, you do heave Alfred through the, through the candles and right before he actually hits them, they sort of part and then he just goes whoosh, and he's gone, disappears. Alfred is back in the mortal realm. Um, Argus, uh, one thing I cheated you of last uh, round was a uh, saving throw. Uh, I don't think uh, you're cheating me, really. Uh, I, 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 that's saving throw, but yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. D6, right? D6, yeah. One, 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 one. Okay. Um, that was last round. You didn't make it, but now make another one for this round. Ooh, counting down. I'm getting closer. Two. All right. Well, he, um, he only has, this is the second round of um, Argus being down. So if he can't make it through this last round, he's dead, dead, dead. Yeah. Be aware, Halifax. All right. Okay. 
you have to save the streams con five jokes. There's just no, <laughs> <laughs> There's no choice here. No. <laughs> Mathematically, it's possible for him to roll lower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was you guys won initiative. Now the the wolves come loping after Snell. Um, all five of them. Um, they they are much faster than you. There's just no way around it. They they are able to catch up. Uh, so, um, oh, wait, but you're blowing the whistle, correct? Blowing the whistle. Yeah. Okay, so we need to roll the whistle thing. So let's see what happens first. Um, whistle so, thing. Whistle thing. Right. So I'm going to leave them still at morale seven. Um, so we need eight or higher for uh, to see what they do. Not gonna happen. I wrote three. Okay, so uh, they continue towards towards you. Let's see how long your luck holds. You have an AC of fourteen. I do. That's oh boy, thirteen. I have an AC of thirteen. Thirteen. Uh. Okay. The hit. No miss, right? That was a ten. Yeah. Ten. Well, they get they get pluses though. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hit. Oh, 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 hit. That's four, right? Yes. I, I hear my mother's voice calling to me and my brother that dinner is ready. As, <laughs> as, 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 the, as the as the fall chair uh, chill. All right, so it's it's me. we're just gonna have to see what it is because it's gonna be it's sure. gonna be pretty brutal, sure. unfortunately. It's not, but uh, it's it extremely hard. So you're gonna take uh, ten d four points of damage from all five of them, just basically dogpiling <laughs> upon you. Oh, oh literally, literally dogpiling. Dog uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ten d four. You just better hope it takes them long enough to eat him, so that you can all go right. get ten. So you're going to take 19, 19 points of damage. Oh. What does that put you at? Uh, that's negative 15. Yeah. Yeah. From the fridge, yeah, they uh, say. Roll me, roll, me a D, <laughs> roll me a D6 and then roll me a D12. Okay. D6 is a 6. D12 is, I have to find it. Here we go. Is a 4. Four plus, Six. and you're at negative fifteen. Yes. 19, 19. Oh man. Okay. You have five fatal wounds. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be concussed for a whole long time if you survive, which I don't think. You're going to. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're going to be skull cracked. Um, we're worried about skull cracked in a minute, though. Um. Okay, you're you're way out. Okay, so the 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 snarling wolves are all on top of Snell. You just see you see Snell in the distance, off in the woods, just go down underneath them as the whistle just gets cut off short. Um, and you hear the snarling wolves off in the distance. Halifax is just oh, you. Oh crap! <laughs> all right, uh, so all right, all right. that was them, right? So uh, they lost initiative. So now it's uh, uh now it is uh, initiative. Yeah, new round. So. Let's uh, I, roll, roll so, for initiative. Okay. You don't have to de declare anything. I got a... That's actually a four. Okay. I got a three. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, so what they're going to do, unfortunately, Snell, I'm sorry, is they're basically going to devour you. Um, yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but you'll yeah. give Halifax some time and we'll see what Halifax sure. wants to do. Good. But, uh, uh, it's a, a first death. Unfortunately, Snell, there was, uh, you did it. Uh, it was a sheer act of, of absolute altruism and, and, uh, it was a true act of heroism. So you died a hero, um, uh, which was pretty amazing. So I'm very sorry to see Snell go cause he was awesome. But, yes. uh, uh, we look, we look forward to name. seeing who, with who you bring to, uh, with you next session. Um, but sure, sure. Snell was great. Uh, okay. Uh, but. Undercoats! We're going to be more than you here in about, like, like, 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. Death and, <laughs> death and Phrygia. All right. Um, I think that might be the, I think we're going to call that the name of the episode. All right. Uh, Halifax, what are you going to do? You're I'm all, you're all alone. And, I'm going to go back and try to get Con 5. If I see them, like. Con 5. I have a name! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you need this bitch. <laughs> okay. 
You're gonna go I mean, back. He's, he's he's such a fragile and delicate flower. I just can't see letting him uh, die. Yeah, okay, so, so I'm going to I'm gonna try to like go back without uh, drawing attention to see I, if I can like drag him through. With I him. think it's safe to say, without uh, being wishy washy about it, that I think that um, we can basically end it here and say that while they are actually um, uh, having a snack on Snell for a good long while off in the off in the forest, that Halifax, um, you can drag Argus's body. Um, despite how heavy it is, you can drag him through the portal. It's, it's it's not that far away, and you know that they're you know you're like looking over your shoulder the entire time, like Jesus Christ, you know, like what the hell is going on? And you just um, <laughs> and you uh, uh, drag. Well, what you need to do first is actually give him a is give him two two tokens. Yeah, I'll shove the wafers. Yeah, yeah, shove the wafers. So, yeah, so make sure you mark those off. Make sure you marked off everything that you've done because you guys have just used a whole yeah. bunch of them. That um, down to a total of nine remaining wafers after he does that. Yeah, four total, I think, that we used. Okay. This. And you drag yourself and Argus back through. I just want to ask one last time, is there anything else you want to do here before you go? I want to make you sure that I, that I got the loot. I'm not leaving that sack. Okay. Um, did, was there anything explicitly told that Snell had on him that we no longer that he no longer has anything valuable? Like Snell had a the gown. We're in the ground, and there's a fur coat on the ground that I threw when I went for my, my run. Okay, yeah. so, so we're down to three fur coats and 19 gowns. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Not <laughs> only are, are you dead eaten by wolves, you're eaten by wolves wearing a dress. If you <laughs> see the spear that he dropped. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, that's uh, just how he was. It's just, oh, yeah, well, it's it, I, I, ran, I ran. It, was, it gave me speed. Lesson. Yeah, it, it yeah. Was, it was, yeah. It was Dude, that is okay. the most heroic thing I have seen in a really. It was that is epic. Yes, it was epic. That, okay, that was so, just, so I'm glad the whistle worked. This is the perfect. I mean, we're, we're exactly at the at the end of our session, and it worked out I, I perfectly. Will get the, I will get the spear too. Ted brought up a good point. Well, you can't get it. What I'm saying is, anything that Snell has on him, my body. Spears oh, he oh, no, no. He dropped it. No, I did oh, not. Oh, spear, oh right, right. Spear. I did gotcha. not drop yeah. the spear. I okay. Oh, you didn't drop the spear. Oh, no, okay. Awesome. I dropped a bow and a short sword, so the spear is still okay. strapped to okay. my horse. And I don't. Right. Yeah. Yep. You had to drop the spear. Okay. So when you pop back out, Halifax, you find yourself basically um, sprawled on that pristine staircase with the glowing candles behind you and the water just gently lapping, and everything's quiet. And compared to the absolute cold of Phrygia, it's nice and warm here, even though it was actually kind of dank and <laughs> uh, kind of cold. But you're sprawled out on the steps, and you see that um, uh, Sir Chide and Princess Snowfall are there. Uh, Princess Snowfall looks very bemused, like she doesn't doesn't really understand like what's happening right now. Um, but they're both kneeling in front of the prone, um, ravaged form of Elfric. Um and then you kind of pop through with Argus and Dragon, and they like look up in surprise and like, "My God, you made it!" Snell, is he behind you? Uh, but technically, yes. <laughs> For all time. <laughs> uh, 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 my lady, it's, it's it was only only because of his brave, brave sacrifice. We will, and she, they both cast their heads down. Snow, snowfall at dusk actually has like a tear fall from Ryan. And uh, Sir Chide uh, uh, growls and kind of clasps his blade. And he, he he pulls out his blade and he actually reverses it and hands it to you. He'll first towards you and he says, yeah, you are more deserving of this than I. Take it. It is yours now. And we will remember Snell. Yoink. For all time. <laughs> and we will sing his praises. I will, I will use And, and this. the party will never argue Thunderclump again, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to yeah. honor the dead now. <laughs> this was all right. engineered just for that, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what an ending, man. All Oof. right. That was, that was something. Awesome. All it's right. I think we're just going to have a, a, sh yeah, a short little light RP session. It'll, be, behind, it'll be fine. I was yeah. not it's expecting awesome anything like that at the end. I think, I think Snell's spirit... If it were to uh, uh, exist still in the land of the Fae, is running, running as we speak. Yes, forever. exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Is the chariot of fire music playing? We have to wonder yeah, like, yeah. What, what happens to his soul, right? Like he he died yeah. in Phrygia, right? He died in fairy. I went. I I don't even know. Uh, but uh, yeah, a true. He died died a hero. Died a hero. 
So pretty awesome. So uh, we'll have to pick it up here. An, an interesting thing. So we'll have a lot of interesting things to take up from here. So you're still in the tomb, but you have a mortal uh, Sir Chide and uh, Princess Snowfall uh, to deal with. And they are unaccustomed to the ways of Dolmenwood uh, this far <laughs> into the future. Um, and uh, who knows what her their true motives uh, really are, right? And then um, we're, we'll also have to see what... Um, <laughs> They draw daggers and kill us. Right. And then uh and then uh we have to see who Snell's new character is, right? Yes. Maybe Snell's new character Ooh. will be a knight named Sir Chide. <laughs> 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 that would be appropriate. Uh, there you go. <laughs> or if you like uh, the gown so much, feel free to be Princess Snowfall. I mean, I would love to get that sword back now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that was a yeah. super awesome, great session. That was a blast. Yes. Thank yeah. you, John. That was really great, John. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. So, so uh, we'll see what happens next time on episode 13. In the meantime, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. You know the deal. Pass along the word to your friends. Remember, it's 3D6 down the line now, no longer Britannica. So we will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Should I be subscribed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mike. <laughs>